Everything about me What I love, what I hate, what I dream Ain't nobody could love me like it would But he don't love me like that, you see He's the one I can't get out my head Every touch, every word that he said I play it back again, that boy makes me spin But he don't love me like that
지금 이렇게 소문난 선수들 많이 데려가고 있는 상황이거든요. 조기석 선수는 어떤 큰 그림을 그리고 나왔나요? 어차피 16강도 다 잘한 선수밖에 없기 때문에 잘한 사람이랑 하려고 왔거든요. 종족은요? 프로토스 생각하고 있어요. 좋아요. 가면 은또 권한도 생기니까 네. 저도 괜찮은 것 같아요. 윤종현 똑같은 생각이고 좀 원하는 선수를 뽑고 싶어서 여기서 어떤 큰 그림을 그렸지? 잘하는 선수 프로토스 이렇게 지금 이야기를 했는데 자 정윤종 도재호 앞에서 서성대다가 어, 어, 박, 자, 박성균! 아니, 박성균 데려가요? 아, 아 독자를! 프로토스전은 단판은 네. 솔직히 상성이라 무서워요. 네. 근데 이제 태태전은 그래도 좀 편하거든요. 박성균 선수의 때문에. 포즈가. 네. 예. 조기석의 밥, 이제 약간 조밥으로 저를 먹으려고 <웃음> 어, 조밥. 좀 예. 생각을 하고 있었던 것 같은데 네. 저는 어차피 근데 지금 뭐 나쁘지 않아요. 박성균 선수가 이제 지명권이 좀 생겼거든요. 어떻게 결론을 네. 내셨나요? 종족 자체도 너무 테란이 없고 토스만 많아서 저그가 나올 것 같아요, 저는. 아, 저그가? 네. 혹시 네. 그좀 털이 많이 난그 선수를 예. 노려보고 있는 건가요? 예. 확 들어오긴 하네요, 지금. 네. 다 고만고만한 것 같아서 네. 상관없어요. 저그를 아까 데려간다 그랬었는데 네. 어, 시계를 보고 자, 시간만 확인을 하는 줄 알았더니 데려가네요. 지옥의 온걸 환영합니다. 와! 선전폭 환자. 네. 이제 프로토스 두 명이 남아있거든요. 그럼 둘 중에 그러면 개인적으로 누가 더 강력하다고 생각하세요? 보여드릴게요. 아, 프로토스 났는데! 정인종! 정인종! 아, 도재우! 아, 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 대란들이 아, 표정이 바뀌었어, 네. 비슷해요. 아, 아. 예측은 어느 정도 했었어요. 그래서 제가 다크 58킬 할게요. 와, 58킬까지. 최종 권한! 김정우 선수의 마지막 우승자 권한권! 전현재나 정인종을 좀 견제할 수 있을 만한 그런 선수로다가 바꾸고 싶거든요. 박성균. 박성균을 만약에 저희들로 데리고 오면 은 전현재 정윤종 콤보로 박성균 바로 강탈. 전 어디서든 떨어질 수 있는 상황이에요, 지금. 괜히 <웃음> 이상한 꼬임에 넘어가면 은 굉장히 그림이 이상해집니다. 예. 이몽규 선수, 변현재랑 어떠세요? 상관없어요. 이야! 네. 제 생각에 그래도 좀 밸런스 맞게 잘 구성해서 이제 바꾸도록 하겠습니다. 떨고 있어! 네, 떨어요! 들었다 놨다! 어! 어! 와! 자, 이몽규! 김현우! 김현우가 시조에! 와, 이렇게 바꿔버렸습니다. 옮겨 갔습니다. 자, 그러면 이렇게 둘이 저 위치를 바꿔주시면 되거든요. Today's matchup. Sean, Joe Kiso. Mai, Park Sung-yu. Modesty, Kim Hyun-woo. Best, Do Jae-woo. Olay TV ASL Season 7, Round 16. Group C. 틀을 깨고 한 개에 도전하라. ASL Season 7 Day 9. This is Round 16, Group C. Fix the frame. We have four players here with us. I'm fixing it. You guys break it, I fix it. Four players, some sharp-minded players, and players who think they're best, but also at the same time, very modest. Did she say that or you? I said that. I was really impressed there for a second. I'm like, wow. Okay, Sharp, it's been a long time since you played. How do you feel now? I'm really glad to be able to play in front of a large crowd again. And there are a lot of things that I want to show, so I'm very eager to start playing. So, hello to Mike. Now, in group nomination, you wanted to send best to another group, but you failed in negotiation. What, you, what did you think after the group was complete? Well, other than group A, I feel that all the groups are tough. I kind of expected it that I would end up in a tough group. So I guess it doesn't really matter. So have you found a solution to advance to round of eight? Uh, I have been practicing and uh, uh, simply, if I do well, I advance. If I don't, I won't. It's as simple as that. Let's talk about the team of Kim Hyun-woo. The team of Kim Hyun-woo is swapped with Larva at last minute. Now, in group nomination, in group nomination, you were swapped with Larva at last minute and came to group C. What do you think of the group? So instead of playing against Mini, I think it's better to play against Sharp. So I'm okay with it. What are the chances of advancing to round of eight today? Well, it's going to be tough. 
but um, if I do my best, I think I, there's, a, I think there's 50 50 chance. 아무래도 이 전투에서도 정말 좀 예상을 뒤엎는 결과들이 나왔기 때문에 자신감을 가지시면 좋을 것 같은데요. 자 마지막으로 도재영 선수에게 좀 인사를 나눠보겠습니다. 최근에 시간을 맞아서 선수를 보러 가셨더라고요. Now you recently went to and had Saju, s a like traditional Korean fortune telling. 아, 네, 사주 볼때 오늘 경기 정말 잘될 거라고 해주셨거든요. 그래서 그거 so 보고 in 사주 I was told that my luck is really great this year. 이뤄질 수 있도록 제가 더 열심히 And 할 거예요. I guess uh, I'll have to do my best to fulfill that. 조금 다르세요. 굉장히 잘 어울리시네요. Uh, uh, <웃음> 해주세요. 아그 헤어 해주시는 분이 뭐 귀엽게 해주신다고 해가지고 해주셨는데. Uh, you change your hairstyle. 아, 네. What, what, 다행입니다. 오늘 머리 스타일도 경기하는데 uh, 굉장히 좀 신경 쓰이는 분이잖아요. 오늘 좋은 경기 보여주시길 today. 기대하겠고요. And 자 이제는 I, 본격적으로 팬분들이 be 쭉 질문을 uh, so 좀 sure. 전해드리도록 하겠습니다. 먼저 조기석 선수 마이크를 okay, 좀 받아주실까요? Uh, let's have questions from the fans. 조기석 선수도 오랜만에 원래 쭉 해오던 머리 스타일을 no, 좀 변화를 uh, 주셨잖아요. 제가 유튜브를 통해서도 멤버 중에서도 확인을 했는데 I've noticed from your streaming and YouTube. Has your play style also changed? 일단은 제가 꾸밈이 없이 맨날 시골 청년 느낌으로 맨날 게임만 했는데 이제는 I used to change prior play style. 외모도 갖고야 되는 시기. I used to always look like a some country boy. I didn't give much thought about my looks. But 외모도 다시 바꾸고 또 게임도. 또더 잘해지려고 바꿨습니다. 네, I'm putting more uh, concern into that. And uh, as for play style, I think it will also uh, start to change. Strength from the path of yoga, caring about his parents. Yeah, I don't know about it tonight. Which one is better? I don't know about it tonight. I don't know about it tonight. I don't know about it tonight. 솔직히 2위로 가면은 진짜 so what's better advancing as first in the group or second in the group? So far we have effort and calm as first place advancer and 호랑이 and last as second. 근데 그래도 1위로 올라가야 더 멋있지 않을까 하는 생각에서 so, yeah, 1위로 I mean, 올라가고 if you make it a second, yeah, then you still advance, but it's still cooler to advance as first place. 네, 이번 시즌 테란 선수들이 좀 부진하다는 느낌을 받고 있는데 Now let's uh, 그 ask Mind. This 태락을 season, the Terran players haven't been doing so, haven't been uh, doing so well. Uh, have you prepared anything to, to change that? 거고, 근데 어차피 성현이도 올라가서 그렇게 막 저는 Well, I think it's because we don't have flash, but also I don't think Terrans are doing that bad. I mean, we already have Terran that advanced to the next round. So next question, previously people called you Poison Snake. Nowadays, people just call you Snake. Is it still the same? 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 <laughs> 오늘 독사 모드를 꼭 보고 싶다고 so, 질문을 남겨 주셨거든요. Fan, 네. fan is asking will he be able to see 뭐 you in poison snake 뭐 mode again. 하진 않고 좀 경기도 많이 그렇게 좀 떨어지니까 사람들이 그렇게 말하는 것 같아서 오늘 I guess it's because I haven't been playing much game and I have my results have been great. 제가 뭐 무조건 이긴다라고 I do 확신은 못 하지만 그래도 최선을 다하겠습니다. 네, 알겠습니다. 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 자 김현아 선수 이번에 또 AS를 첫 승격공이 때문에 Are you going to be poison snake or not? 이첫 상대 김현아 선수가 다소 약하다고 평가받는 프로토스 선수입니다. Now your first match is against Poros, which people say you're not so great against. Have you prepared anything? 포스 전 10연패를 갖고 있는 기록을 갖고 있었는데. So I used to have a record of 10 straight loss against Poros. 연패를 끊어준 선수가 도재욱 선수예요. 제가. 아또 그런 인연이. But the player that I defeated to get out of that slump. Was best. 네. 그 옛날에 좋은 기억을 떠올려서 so 오늘 한번 I can probably repeat that today. 어쩐지 김현우 선수가 표정이 밝더라고요 오늘 경기장에 <웃음> 오면서부터 자 그거에 대한 도정 선수 생각 잠시 후에 들어보도록 하겠고요. 자 다음 질문 김현우 선수 okay, 하면 비타가 가디언이 uh, 좀 떠오르다 떠오르신다고 하네요. Okay, Morris, you're famous for your mutas and guardians. 가디언을 이렇게 좋아하는 will, will 이유가 we, 뭘까요? Can we expect something like that? Some, uh, 어, 뭐, some cool mutas patrol and guardians today. 파일럿 운영하는 거는 굉장히 힘들기 때문에 근데 웬만한 테란들 뮤탈만 가면 끝나기 때문에 굳이 디파일러까지 갈 수는 없거든요. 그래서 디파일러 against uh, 테란 or 테란 Zerg, but Mura, of course, you can expect because it's, 네, it's pretty much. Uh, Mutaro 오늘 좀 조심하셔야 될것 같네요. 자 이제 마지막으로 도재욱 yeah. 선수와 얘기를 좀 나눠보도록 하겠습니다. 아까 김현우 선수가 기록에 대한 얘기를 했는데요. 혹시 본인도 기억하고 계시는 표정을 보여주셨거든요. 
Gets trolled. Rage. Trolling the card right now. Okay. Next question was: uh, You defeated two Zergs in the round of 24, and people have been saying that your your uh, Zerg against Zerg play has been improving. What is the secret? And he said, I uh, actually forgot about that. Um, I wasn't aware that I defeated two Zerg. I'm sorry, that, that's the current question. I, I, I got too ahead. Okay. 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 Oh, okay, he was speaking about Corsair's uh, his, his, I, I guess uh, his control has been improving. He, he thinks his control has been improving. But, uh, of course, he can always mis make mistakes. Uh, he hopes that doesn't happen today. Uh, next question. Um, so your recent uh, skill has been performance has been really great, and it's probably best time, it's probably your most ideal time to win the championship. Said, uh, uh, it's not completely true. I haven't been doing so well on online uh, matches, so he's not so sure about that. That's it for the questions. Uh, Thank back you. to you. Thank, Thank you, John. John. Excellent work as always. I too have gotten a new haircut, but my casting style will stay the same. Mm. Season seven, break the frames. We're breaking these frames, Artie. You know so. what they say: frames are made to be broken, That's, right? That is true. It's an old saying, as old as time itself. Oh, well, welcome to the ASL. I'm sorry I missed you guys yesterday on the GSL. I was feeling a little bit under the weather, but I'm back. Thank you to Rabbit for subbing it for me. And we got a great uh, day of games for today, Artosis. Oh, certainly we do. We have two Terrans in this group, so that is awesome. I'm just hoping one of them can make it out. Yeah. I uh, We'll have to see, man. It's going to be tough. Best is a really good player. Oh, yeah. I, in, I mean, in I, my opinion right now, I feel yeah. like he's the second best Protoss. Yeah, I think like, so. Maybe it's Snow. Like, Rain, I think best we is a little bit more well-rounded. Well, after Snow's play in the last group... That PVZ he had against Sulky? Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's it's kind of crazy. I think he might be able to get out first. I think Sharp is an excellent player, though. He's been a real inspiration, oh, yeah. I think, to everybody who's been trying to get better at StarCraft <clears throat> yeah. um, and seeing this guy rise up. And uh, we've talked about it before, but he's been doing yoga and kind of taking care of himself. And um, you can see he was really enthusiastic when he gets those wins. So he's, of course, someone fun to watch. Yeah, um, yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I find it funny as well, by the way, because this is something that Flash did also, where, like, Terrans pick each other in the round of 16. If they get to choose, like, right off the bat, they grab a Terran for TBT. Yeah. The map pool has just been, like, slightly a little bit difficult against the other races, so we've just seen, like, Terrans aggressively picking each other. It's kind of a funny mm -hmm. a funny thing. Like, mine got picked by uh, Flash in the last, last time that this happened in the, the round. Anyways. Uh, there's the results that you see so far. <clears throat> so here are the predictions. We've talked about this before. All the other 12 players in this round have voted for who they think will get out. Seven players think Best will get out first. Four think Sharp. One thinks Mind. Zero think Modesty. Uh, and in fact, zero people think Modesty's getting out of the group at all. Wow, that's that's a strong statement. Poor yeah, Modesty. Yeah, well, it's unfortunate because I think Modesty actually does have a real chance of getting out. I think yeah. it's just way overshadowed by both Best and Sharp, but they've had a lot of recent success. And only two people think that Miner is going to get out. Almost everyone is thinking Best and Sharp. And, I mean, I think that those are fine guesses. But uh, I think that Modesty is a very up-and-coming Zerg. Like, he's going to be extremely strong. He's super high on the ladder. Uh, his play looks better and better each time. And I think that he is one of the Zergs of the future for sure. And also, like, I, Sharp... Uh, Getting out over mine, like I'm fine with that prediction. He's done better than mine lately, and he 3 0'd mine in KSL. But all three of the games, mine was ahead at a certain point. So this this TVT that we're going to open up with, I think, is not so cut and dry. I know that Sharp has great TVT, and everyone really thinks that, and he's done a great job with his TVT. The thing is, he's won the matches, so you definitely you have to bow to that when you actually win the matches. But they've been close, and mine is mine is a dangerous player. You know, one thing about Mind is that I think a lot of people that are used to, uh, are, you know, have been following StarCraft 1 for a long time. Mind was one of the most exciting. 
I'm sorry, there's whistles in the song. I was not ready for that. <laughs> it's called Blow the by, by DJ yeah. Hero. Okay. Well, you know what? You know what music needs now more than ever is whistles. <laughs> more than ever before. Sometimes I'm at the symphony or at the opera, and I think, you know, they don't have we enough have whistles. Like, where are the whistles, though? You know what I mean? Like, more whistles. No. You guys have oboes, but you don't have someone with, you know, a whistle just blowing into it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, anyway, sorry. I got, <laughs> I got so thrown off by that when that came on. Um, I think if you followed mine for a long time, he was one of the most interesting, exciting Terrence, but... Uh, in, in the last year or two, he hasn't had that much success. I think people are kind of waiting to see the return of the dominant mind that we saw in the past. Well, it's it's interesting that you say that, and I don't disagree, but he's still been one of the top four performing Terrans. This is something we went over before. In the modern era, In only four Terrans can make it to the round of eight, and yep. that's mind sharp, flash, and last. Yeah. Those are, like, literally everyone else you just watch him play, you're like, no, this guy shouldn't make it, and believe me, they don't. So... Uh, you know, yeah, his results haven't been fantastic. Like, for instance, Sharp has made it very deep and made a finals recently, and Mind hasn't come close to that. But regardless, he's still one of the absolute best Terrans and can beat everybody. This is going to be a lot of fun to cast. I'm looking forward to this TVT. Again, guys, we're in the round of 16 here at the ASL. This is the best of one to start things off. Sharp versus Mind, a TVT. Now play in Whiteout. Oh, great cheers in the audience here. Very actually, wow, it's actually packed in here. I hadn't really. Dude, yeah, no, there's yeah, so many people really standing. Yeah. It's, it's now standing room only here. And I well, think this actually the standing room could be gone too. It's crazy. Um, yeah, we filled this up right. You know, sometimes it takes a game or two for people to kind of filter in, but no, everybody got here before the matches even started. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I can't stop thinking about that whistle in that song. No. Listen, I want to go join a band and just be the guy with the whistle. I want to be the guy with the flag. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, God, that's so funny. Yeah, there was a band in Warped Tour like years ago, and one guy, was his job was to run around waving a flag around on stage. We thought, just imagine. That's what you to be do. the flag guy for <laughs> the band. God. So looks like in ASL season two, he actually defeated him in the round of 16. Three to two overall map scores. Of course, we saw him uh, sharp 3-0 mind in the KSL. But again, those were very, 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 very close games. Like, mind was ahead in each game at some point and ended up losing. So uh, definitely that's, that's one of Sharp's really powerful things in TBT. He actually gets behind almost every game. Yeah. Um, it's actually like this really funny thing, and I don't know how to describe it because I think uh, for the style of StarCraft that I personally played when I was like full-time StarCraft in, in America playing all the tournaments and everything, yeah. my play looked exactly like Sharps, uh, where like really? just tons of vultures, you know, tons of drop harassment and stuff, um, and almost every game I got behind and then would end up killing up probes or something or, or SCVs or whatever using dropship play yeah. and getting back. Uh, <clears throat> so it's kind of this funny thing that I can relate to him on a certain degree where it's like he almost plays better when he gets behind a little bit. Like it, the thing is, it won't even feel behind him necessarily because he knows what to do in the situation. But if you just yeah. look at the numbers on the screen and stuff, you can say, oh, there's an edge for his opponent here. Yeah, it's but he's like, yeah, you have that edge right now, but I basically sacrificed a bunch of things to get into a certain position, kind of. Yeah, TBT's funny like that. I, I, I like what you were saying, because I've had the same thing where I'll be watching like certain players and be like, oh, this speaks to me. This is kind of the way I approach the game as well. Yeah. So that's cool that you have that with mine here. Uh, we had, sharp. I'm sharp. Sorry, excuse me, Sharp. Uh, by the way, speaking of Sharp, he did put his uh, barracks in the, uh, not in the middle, but outside of his main here. Yeah. And I don't believe that's been scouted. 4-11 against a CC first is really, 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 really good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he, he's definitely going to feel quite happy about this. Now, going to start his factory at the moment, but definitely we should see him rally non-stop Marines up here. So this is a problem right now. We have this yeah. command center being built on the low ground. The uh, CC is not done yet either. And these Marines and SCVs can actually do damage. What am oh, I? Oh, my, my God. God. He did not. Yeah, Sharp was a little bit slow on that one. That was a great that move was... by mind. Keep in mind, none of these Marines or SCVs, well, mainly the Marines can't heal right now. Yeah. SCVs can repair each other. You don't normally have a lot of that happening uh, in these fights early on, but 
every hit that's on the Marine is, is permanent. So getting that SCV to dr get a few drill hits off on the um, on the SCV is, is actually quite huge. Yeah, it's, it is quite indeed. Like, you can just put an SCV on the Marine at this point, and it makes it very scary. Ooh, nice, nice micro here on both sides, really. Uh, he's okay. going to lose another SCV for sure. Oh, this is great, Sutter Step Micro. Yeah. Now, the bunker should be able to finish. Yeah. Actually, you know what? Like, he's not going to die to this. Oh, losing that, that was Marine great. was rough. But uh, you don't die to this. The problem is you're losing a lot of mining time, and you're building more Marines and a bunker earlier than you want. So when you put all that together, this oh, becomes a big, big advantage for he's sure. He's actually gotten in between the bunker and the barracks here. Mm. And... Until those Marines can go inside that bunker, I mean, you could see, keep having SC, or, uh, sorry, Marines filter through here. Yeah. Oh, wow. my God, another one dying. <laughs> well, what, what do you think of the Vulture next? I, I actually thought he would have gotten an add-on and tried to uh, you know, expand and get tanks and starport, but is the Vulture a good move? Purely based on the number of Marines he's killed, it's an excellent move okay. because you have to actually build buildings here or you're going to lose a ton of SCVs. You can, if there's like one Marine in a bunker, you just run right by it. It's not an issue. <laughs> you know? Yeah, I think when you, you know, for a lot of people, they're so used to when they see bunkers dealing with all four Marines in there that um, when you see Ooh. that there's just one, you don't have to respect it at all. Oh my God, yeah, he's gonna be yeah. able to deny this the is, factory. This is like the amount that Sharp is ahead at this point. If this was a ladder game, then mine would leave. Yeah, like this is, it's it, this is just crazy. It doesn't even matter if he kills anything else with this vulture. The lost mining time, the amount of SCVs he's already picked off. He's doing factory expand against CC first, oh. and his economy's better. Oh my oh, god. No. Okay, well, he might be. Oh my god. It, it, two vultures are still alive. This is where the damage starts to really spike. I can't believe he got that second one in there. Yeah. I can't believe that one vulture, it took that long to kill it. So yeah. from here, he's just trying to target down any extra SCVs he can get. This is 29 supply to 18. Oh my god. Oh. You know, oh! It's easy to forget how long it takes for vultures to actually kill each other when they're yeah. firing. No, it's a long time. Considering that they kill workers so quickly, vulture yeah. versus vulture actually takes quite a while. Yeah. Uh, well, this is this is actually game over. Um, like, I mean, you don't have to leave till all your buildings are dead, technically. But oh my God, there's even two SCVs that haven't been sent back. Yeah, it, mine, mine is, is in so shambles. Totally maxed, taxed out here. Yeah. And it, for sure, right now, what Sharp is doing is just getting Vulture speed and three fact, and he'll just like start running by and killing SCVs. It doesn't even matter what's there. Like, probably mine will go directly to siege tanks here and try to clog everything up. This is so but. unfortunate, too. Mind sent his two vultures down here. One got killed. The other one is retreating. Mind is still on one factory, still remaking SCVs, trying to play catch up here. Yeah, he's just, he's got no economy. He just took so much damage. And, you know, that's something that can happen. CC first is if they don't do something like four to eight, or, uh. or 11 racks or an eight racks, then you're ahead against everything else. But a lot this is of so times crazy they do it. Sharp has had nothing but wins here. Yeah. Every little tactical fight that's happened, Sharp has, has gotten a big win. Yeah. Even getting that last vulture before it got in there, it's like, oh, man. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, every every unit at this point is brutal. So there's the vulture speed. He should run right by the bunker at this point. The siege tank can't block everything. Uh, yep, then the barracks is not landed over here. Oh, very That actually did much better than I thought it would, considering the blocking. But yeah, he's once again in here. He can kill that Marine. Yeah, and he's going to keep now. killing SCVs. <laughs> Mind will GG in just a second. So <clears throat> that was uh, our first game of the night, a little bit sad that this didn't turn into an epic TBT that I think it could have been. But I will tell you something, that was pretty cool to see how incredibly uh, skilled Sharp was yeah. right at the start. Yeah, yeah. He executed everything perfectly. I mean, there was a little bit of a build order snafu where it's like, oh, well, yeah. this is kind of ideal for Sharps, to, you know, for what Mind was going for. But um, he really played perfectly from there. Yeah, he, you know, it, 4 to 11 racks, like, you can get in trouble if they're actually cheesing with, like, an 8 racks or a BBS. Yeah because your barracks is like way out there and it might, if they see it, they can kill the SCV yeah. making it and the game is over. Yeah. So there is a slight risk going forward 11 racks, but eight racks aren't that popular in TBT. So I think it's a really smart move, especially considering almost every Terran goes gasless expand and, and um, command center first. Yeah. It's like very popular on three and four player maps to do those two builds. Well, mine is not out of this yet. He is gonna go to the losers match. Um, but that's it for our first best of one. A, a very short, action-packed TVT that Sharp managed to dominate it, and Sharp will go to the winner's match. Coming up next, we have Modesty versus Best. The ZVP don't go away.
on OLED TV. Atlantis has always had a king. Now I need something more. A hero. Yeah! 이 엄마를 사랑한다. 미안해. 안 봐. 내 몸을 훔쳤어. 도둑이야. 오. 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 한 사람의 열 발자국보다 열네 놈의 한 발자국이 더 낫지 않을 것이다. <웃음> 우리는 반드시 우리말 사전을 완성할 것입니다. 우리는 지금 우리의 말과 글을 지키고자 어렵게 이 자리에 모였습니다. 말은 민족의 정신이요. 글은 민족의 생명입니다. 우리는 반드시 우리말 사전을 완성할 것입니다. 웰컴 백 투 ASL 시즌 7. We just wrapped up a surprisingly short TVT. Yeah. That'll happen. Build order a uh, win basically there well controlled. Yeah. Uh, there really wasn't a whole lot mine can do when he went for the very 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 greedy 14 CC. That vulture did not die. No it did not. It just kept it did not. It kept shooting its little grenades out. It got so many SCVs, um, the control with the Marines and the SCVs early on was quite good. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you look at how many workers were killed there, it, it's just, it's basically impossible to come back. At yeah. that point in time, the Vultures, the Terran has so little assets that the Vultures can actually walk in and just keep killing workers. Yeah, like, even if you only kill, like, let's say that Sharp kills two SCVs and a Marine... That's already sharp as a head, no matter what. Right. Right. And right. then anything above that is like it's getting out of control. And it was out of control 100% immediately. So a very one sided TVT, unfortunately. Uh, kind of hope that we. Get <laughs> yeah, that's, it's too bad because we didn't have a lot of TVTs here. So. Yeah. Okay. Uh, up next, we're going to have a PVZ best versus Modesty. Best is looking like he's supposed to be the strongest player in this group, although Sharp could uh, really contest that. We're going to find yeah. out, assuming the best wins here. Modesty was voted, um, well, he was, I should say, not voted by anybody to get out of this group, which is kind of sad. I think he's got a much more realistic chance than that. Yeah. But right now, he is being perceived <laughs> and viewed by the other pros and I think by most of the other viewers as probably the weakest player in this group. And I think it's still a fair assessment, but I promise you, he's getting very good. Uh, what we saw from him in KSL was a consistent improvement. If I recall correctly, yeah, he did make it, right? He, where did he make it to? I guess he lost to Leda, uh, but that was that was some pretty close matches. He's had some other matches as well that were pretty good. So uh, <clears throat> whether he makes it through this group today or not, uh, I guess we'll just see. But, you know, there's a new crop of Zerks coming up. Um, and it's interesting, right? Because there's always up and coming players for every race. But I feel like recently we've got a lot of new top tier Protoss. And then I feel like we have a crop of upcoming Zerks right now, like Wear and Modesty. And then for Terran, I feel like we have some uh, Terran players that are going to be good, but aren't. They're like not going to be as good as soon as the Zerg players. Do you know what I mean? Like they're a little no, bit further I, I out. Like, it seems like there's this new crop for both Protoss and Zerg. And there's also a lot of new ideas being toyed around with Protoss and Zerg. Yeah, if you watch yeah. some of these games, we're seeing a lot of people do stuff that we just weren't really seeing mm -hmm. uh, before, which is very exciting. And I mean, there is there is new stuff coming out of Flash for Terran for sure. So that's something at least. But yeah. Uh, It'll be cool. I, I'm really looking forward to the next couple of years of StarCraft 1 to see all these new players really hit their form. But we'll see tonight how close Modesty is to that. Okay, we're very close to starting this match. PVZ, Best is uh, known as 
being basically the strongest macro Protoss. I don't want to pigeonhole him too much, but I mean, he is pretty beastly. He's also yeah. got a pretty deep understanding in all the matchups of how to navigate from the very start to the very end. Historically, he's had the biggest problem with PBZ, right. but I don't think his PBZ is bad. Because that's not unusual for Protoss players. They tend to struggle yeah. the most in that matchup. No, totally. That's that's that little uh, triangle of despair. Yes. <laughs> All right, our game's ready. This is Modesty versus Best. Now play in Whiteout. Ooh, big cheers, big cheers. Okay, so um, let's go ahead and talk a little bit about this matchup in general. Protoss almost always tries to fast expand. There's a couple different ways you can do it. You can get a forge right away or you can get one gateway. Um, if we see anything else, we'll unpack that, but that's the general premise. Is that they're, they're Protoss is trying to race towards Cybernetics Core with an expansion. Get uh, generally a Stargate and you know go get into Templar tech, uh, and the Zerg is trying to mass up uh, on three bases. Uh, most commonly now we see a lot of people going into uh, mass Hydra, six hatch Hydra. Um, occasionally with Mutas comboed in there later on to snipe the Templars, but we've also seen, uh, particularly in this season of ASL, a lot of the um, the Muta timing attack that comes in there with the Scourge to try to take the Corsairs out, and you get control of their main. Usually you have the control over the area above the Stargate, and you're just punishing them from there. So we may see that from the Zerg as well. Yeah, that has been pretty popular lately. Uh, you know, it looks like, um, it, as far as, <clears throat> excuse me, I have a little bit of a congestion, but as far as best build goes, looks like he does want to expand. So I'm already a little bit sad, because this won't be as good as that snow game. Where yeah, it's yeah. like one base reaver. That was uh, that was just crazy. <laughs> was Whenever fantastic. you see a Protoss pull that off, it's like that's that, that's your favorite game as a Protoss player. Yeah, is if you did some kind of crazy one base build against a Zerg and just barely uh, you cut their legs off before they could get started. Yeah, and and even if you are a Terran player watching this, you want to watch Sulky Snow from that last group. It, oh God, that was amazing. That whole group was fantastic, but that that game was probably. Overall, my favorite game of the year, even. Well, Snow is just looking scarier and scarier as time passes. Long, but yeah. Oh, yeah, it's okay. It's still not wrong. <laughs> well, it doesn't mean as much. Yeah. But even if this was June, guys, I would still probably say that. Yeah. <laughs> I, I got to tell you, like, every game that Snow's coming out with lately, yeah. he's just looking like he's got a deeper and deeper understanding of, of these matchups than anybody else. So you've got the probe here to try oh. to interfere with the um, hatchery, and so far, Bess has gotten Jeez. two swoop ins. Oh! Oh, almost got the third swoop in. The swoop, Tom Swoopery. Yeah. Never heard it called a swoop in, but. That's what I, that's what I think. I'm, just, I'm trying to swoop. Yeah. Okay, so uh, this is the build where you park workers for a little bit, and when you're producing them, you try to get the forge and the nexus and a uh, cannon as well, just set up in time, and then you. You know, go full speed into as many uh, probes as possible. Mm -hmm. uh, we have seen a lot of all-ins from Zerg. It's just it's strong. It makes sense that you know people are trying to do it where they get a quick hydralist in, especially if they kill off the scouting probe, um, and they just go straight into this big timing attack. Now I don't know if we're going to have it here, but it's worth just mentioning because it's it's been so common. Mm -hmm. um, it's it's a really good way to abuse the fact that there's a balancing act going on for the Protoss with the cannons. They're trying to get enough cannons yeah. um, without overmaking them, because if they overmake them, then they can't, you know, um, then, then you don't have it, uh, the other stuff that you need. Yeah. But if you undermake them, you will lose to some of these timing attacks. And this is actually a very quick layer, and the third hatch is going to be uh, in the very top right. Yeah, that's that's interesting. The, the other means natural. Uh, instead of that one that's, like, behind the trees. Yeah. We've seen, like, I think... Every ZVP on this map so far, the other third was taken. Yeah. The one like like basically above where Modesty's main yeah. is. In, so in I'm the same interested. Location. What is he what is he planning with uh, this? if you see them expand over there, it usually means they're they're preparing to turtle. What they want to do is is because they're gonna have easy access to the uh, other main. And usually a fourth base is, is is a point where Protoss can try to contest. Mm -hmm. They're finally strong enough that they can try to pick a fight with the Zerg. They've got the Templars up. They have all this tech up. So they can try to come out and actually um, 
to, to kill that fourth, but if you just turtle up at, at this base we're seeing over here and take the main behind it, there's not a lot that Protoss can do. Yeah. And sometimes you see Protoss is overextend. Now, sometimes Zergs will, will play like this and the Protoss expecting a, 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 a conservative, turtley game. The Zergs will actually do a crazy all in two just because yeah. of the mind games with it, even though the hatchery is very far away. I think that the hatchery is maybe closer than what the other one, the other location would have been. Uh, or at least equal. So, I don't know what, what this plan is exactly for Mossy. I hope it's one of those turtle games, so I always enjoy those. Now, the Spire is on the way. No second gas taken. That this doesn't is... mean that you can't go Mutas, but normally you're going to take that second yeah, gas. Normally this is just intended to match uh, when the Corsair comes out. You want to have a Scourge there. Yeah. And then you use your one of your sets of Scourge to fly into the main and just see what the Protoss is doing. Nice. There are a lot of different ways to, uh, I mean, not a ton, but there's enough that you, you want to get, get confirmation of what's going on after the fast expand. Mm -hmm. I mean, sometimes we see Reavers made here. We've seen the double Stargate. Um, you can go straight into DTs, or you can race up to Zealot Legs, or, you know, there, there's a bunch of different combinations. So you're trying to get in there and just get an idea of what game the Protoss is trying to um, bring here, and then try to counter it. Well, Fest has scouted that base. Now the Corsair coming out, so get that additional scouting intel done. Certainly the Scourge will be coming up ASAP. Uh, one of the most important moments in the game is uh, keeping the first Corsair alive. If, yes. you can, if the Zerg can ever just shoot that down with a Scourge, it's like the, the Protoss is going to be so uncomfortable. You just don't know what's going on on the map. Well, he gets the full scout off of the main and natural and sees an egg there with the Spire done. So probably Scourge on the way. Going to be very careful about that. Fly home perhaps. And there's that fourth. Wow, yep, that's there, quick there it is. too, that's quick. Yeah. But the thing is you can do it, you can get away with it. It's really hard for them to really do anything. Yeah, I mean, you're on three bases anyways, you're gonna go to minimum five hatches if yep. you're not gonna cheese. So may as well put one there. Yeah, just throw Why it not? down. Um, now we've seen a lot of Protoss players try to do a bust on either <laughs> the, um, the initial uh, second base or that third base. Um, the problem is it's so hard to break these locations. All the Zergs nowadays, um, if they're top tier, they just, they know exactly where to place Evo chambers and sunken yeah. colonies and hatches, like we're seeing right there. To where Zealots, even with plus one attack, probably can't get in there. Yeah. There's like so many different blocks. And, and, and um, so a lot of times they'll try to tech into their goons, but then you can put a lurker down there and it's it just, it's like hard to get the keep the observer alive. It's like probably one of the hardest things for a pro player is just trying to keep their observers alive in this matchup. Yeah. They die so no, quickly. No, you always say that. Yeah, no, it's 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 crazy how hard it is. Um, like a lot of times, oh. if you get far enough in the game, it's like just make that your biggest task is making sure that you have observers. Because sometimes you'll mm -hmm. be winning a game and just lose because you don't have the observers. Yeah. Uh, now, you mentioned uh, when this turtling happens, a lot of times Protoss go for dragoons, and I like that to an extent because I want to talk about this because yep. the, like this is becoming a turtle game and it doesn't look like anyone's going to die anytime soon so we're going to see which way that uh, best wants to play but I want to talk about this for a moment because I feel a lot of the times when Zerks play this style because sometimes we see this on like circuit breakers or not as much on that map actually because that mineral base it, that's like yeah. a free win for Zerg but like fighting spirit for instance we see this type of strategy a lot in fighting spirit oh, yeah. in ZBP it's very strong there yeah uh and I feel like a big flaw for a lot of Protosses is they'll get the Dragoons, and then they'll really force the issue on the third base. Yeah. And then a flank comes in, they lose their army. I, I feel like uh, when Zer you like putting the pressure on, I absolutely love, right? You really make them turtle, make, you make all the buildings, make them get their lurkers in position. Yeah. But if a Protoss against this type of strategy doesn't take a reasonably quick third and fourth, I feel like they're misstepping. So I, I was, uh, this is a long time ago, but I was talking to um, some of these really great players I know um, when I first came out here and, he, and, and they were saying, you know, one of the tricks you can do is, is just start to expand much more quickly. You don't have to attack them. You can make an army, but just move out and just start expanding yeah. and making cannons, um, you know, and, and, and getting gateway stuff, you know, get, getting gates up yeah. and just let them stay on four bases because they, they don't want to attack you anytime soon. So fine, okay, then I'm going to expand. Yeah, yeah. See, because this is like kind of the way that I've always thought about RTS. I said this a long time ago uh, in StarCraft 2, where it's like just the kind of general idea simplified. Uh, when they attack, defend. When they defend, expand. And when they expand, attack. Yeah. I so like that. if they're defending here, 
like the the counter to defense is expanding. They're spending you know money on three sunks. Yeah. Well, this geez, is actually that, that costs the same as the next. You know, I'm, I'm really glad you're bringing this up because this is actually a really difficult concept for a lot of people. Yeah. And I, I feel like maybe no, we, haven't, we, we haven't actually touched upon it enough because we've yeah. cast it for so long. But yeah, a lot of people don't understand that. Okay, if they're just defending, you don't go kill them. No. Yeah. It's not like you just have to figure out how to destroy all them. No, you just expand. Then it's their problem. Yeah. You know, if, if, if you see them turtling and say, okay, whatever, I th this is not my problem anymore. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go expand even further. Now, look at how many Zealots he is making right now. I'm, I'm interested to see if Bess is going to try something like two base. It's almost feeling that way right now. Yeah, well, two basing has become the more modern, <coughs> popular way to play. Yeah. Protoss is... I mean, this is I believe this game's been around for so Ooh. long, but there, there was an era where Protosses were trying to sneak out third bases once they had enough Templars and set up. And it seems like the, the, the modern school of thought with this is that you might as well just power up, get like eight gateways or something. I don't know yeah. what the magic number eight. is. Is it eight? He okay, eight. I, th I think it's eight. I'm not sure. It. And then you just and, and then you stop making probes yeah. and you basically try to assert yourself on the map. Well. And it, it's, it can, seems that's what he's doing. Yeah. Even this robo timing. You get the robo like at a, at a very, very late point. You have the one observer, mm -hmm. and, and you're just going to try to pick a fight. Now, it seems to me like Modesty is kind of ready for this, but Best has been known to, to crack almost any Zerg. Well, I, I feel like if you see that this is coming, if he's taking this long to take a third, he's not really focusing on that. So just defending more. He's, he's yeah. going to attack you 100%. I feel like lurkers and just more uh, sunken colonies are going. Yeah, there you go, lurkers. Yeah, because so this is, you're, no, you're, you're you're nailing this one. As far as like what the Zerg needs to do, they just stay back, right? Now yeah, he's actually yeah. pushing out here and taking a third. Okay, okay, that's what I want to see. I, 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 usually, what the Protoss could try to do in this position is just keep watching the map and just look for the fifth base. Oh yeah, defend that. Just, uh, just, uh, just take we'll, that out every time. Yeah, like, just keep never. the Zerg on only yeah. four bases this entire game. Well, when you have an army that you think might be able to break these positions, by the way, it can't. Um, yeah. I, I love the idea of just kind of roaming around. You can pick off units, check for that fifth base, as you said. And hell, I'm serious. In a little bit here, I want to see that fourth base for Protoss taken. Yeah. No, I, I, think, I think you're right. If we're four base against four base, I'm feeling very good about best chances at that point. But if he sits on three for too long and throws an army away into a sunken lurker, well, then we can have a modesty sharp match, and that'll okay. be fun too. Okay, is he going to try to attack in here? Now, this is one of the things I was worried about, is it's it's not that hard for the Zerg to have these tiny counterattacks where oh, they just man. come in here and, and, and look, he's going to get the Nexus, oh. and it's just like... Yeah, I mean, this is just horrible. That's right now so for the painful. That's so painful. I'm actually surprised. I don't want to be too critical here at best, but I thought he would have had a lot more cannons there because that, that is par for the course what Zerg wants to do. Yeah, and, and to be fair, like, he could have had some sort of forward scout or Something even left spot. a couple more units at home because there's zero chance with the way Modesty's playing that his army would beat Best's army. So you don't actually have to walk around the whole thing. Now where's that observer? Okay, we got the one observer over here. Now, with this many Dragoons... Maybe he could try to push through. Let's find out. Now, here's the uh, note that the uh, Spore Ooh. is actually hitting the um, uh, Corsairs, not the Observers. I love the storms on the Lurker eggs right there, but he has lost a lot of Zealots up front. The counterattack's not here yet. Now, there's a counter going to the third base once again, so a denial on that, obviously, is pretty strong. Thinking another storm on those eggs, that's it. Yep, he gets the kill. Now, the counterattack's happening here, but I think the, the stream of Zealots might just barely hold this off. Let's see. Okay, you know what, Artos? Okay, he actually might break him here. But All right. now, now comes this counterattack here. Uh oh, no observer. Welcome to my world. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> well, that could be an issue. And as we get down to just okay, dragons, he's, he's gonna get the he's gonna get the dead. Ooh, really nice. Yeah, you actually. Oh man, this means what you see is what you get as far as hydras go here for modesty. I think he's actually. I think he actually might do it, man. Well, when he, the flanks start coming in, though, I start to worry because this is mostly just Dragoons now. Yeah, but no, but this number of Dragoons, can, can magic can happen. Yeah. They're just, the, 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 if you, as long as there's one or two Zealots continuously coming in here, I think that Best actually just pulled it off. He's just actually that much of a macro beast that he powered his way through the natural. He, he doesn't have any more units coming right now. He's still dealing with the Lurkers but, but at his third I base. think it's just Lynx. Yeah. And when the Zealots are popping out here, I mean, they will be there eventually. You're supposed to be making... Yep, there oh, it is. Oh, yeah. Then, then you, you're going to beat the Lynx in the fight, right? He should be ahead in the attack upgrade. Would it make any sense to go Mutas at this point for no. Modesty? 
No, that, that, no. You, you want them to go Mutas for sure. Yeah, I he's guess still, he still has Corsairs. Some Corsairs there. And, but he doesn't have that many, right? Yeah, but it's it's still, it's <clears throat> with this number of Dragoons, it's like you're, you're sure. not going to beat him. It's, it's just very hard. I mean, once you break this position, and this is actually, you know, it's funny because a lot of people will try to attack um, this area that we're looking at right now on screen and try to push through there. But a lot of times the main is slightly under defended because their, their Zerg was so con um, well, sure he, that they had to protect that area. He only had one sunk in there when the attack yeah. came, which I know it's like kind of a thin area, but it, you know, I, <laughs> I, the it, only thing Modesty's got going for him is he's taking out this uh, second base. But I mean, when you get in here and take out the main, that means you're going to get rid of the hive, you're getting rid of all the tech. And I mean, it's just, it's so difficult to try to recover from this. I mean, the spire, the spawning pool, Definitely some important buildings going down. But do you think because he's denied the third base two times or three times so far, uh, Modesty has any chance with those other two bases? You know what? I don't really think so. <clears throat> I think that Best knows all he has yeah. to do is expand and defend it. Thank you. Um, I mean, he's at 160 supply to 52. And I know that Zerks can make miracles happen on low supply, but even that, I don't think so. GG. All right. Well, a good bust by by Best. Definitely read the situation properly there and was able to get right through. That's a I, rough game for Modesty. I mean, I feel, I feel <clears throat> bad for him. Yeah. When you're trying to hold that off and they just break through and kill you. And When Modesty uh, committed his uh, units from third and fourth into the third again when he was being attacked at his natural, do you think he should have just sent those for the flank immediately? Yeah, maybe. I think... Uh, I think it's tough. It's I, again, Vest is very impressive. Is the other thing. It's like he doesn't really have he doesn't really have any major weaknesses. You know, I thought Modesty had a good idea with some of those counter attacks. But if you're not also addressing the fact that the Protoss has this like 150 supply army that is just looking for a fight, you know. Yeah. Also, yeah. some of those storms that were pulled off on the lurker eggs was the most he, impactful yeah, part of the fight. He killed seven lurker eggs. Yeah. So that's. Seven lurkers is very different from zero lurkers. Yeah, I mean, if he had, if, if those lurkers had finished and he had brought, he probably would have barely held. Mm -hmm. um, the there's, observer was never killed either. You know, in that moment, you actually need that yeah. spore colony to target down the observer. Well, that uh, those are very tight naturals there as well. Yeah, and so the lurker eggs were all kind of in front. So maybe you should have just like morphed those behind, but it's everything gets very clogged on whiteout. Yeah. Hmm. Um. Nicely done by Best, and this means we're going to have, for our winner's match, a PVT. All Sharp right. versus Best. Well, uh, that should be good. I mean, Sharp definitely has good TVP. He definitely yeah. can mess with you, but uh, Best PVT. If Snow isn't the best PVT -er, it's Best, in my yeah. opinion. Yeah. Uh, we're going to go to a break. We come back, our winner's match. Don't go away. Let's 자저 오버 오버로드가 그 예, 있는 위치를 파이어벳이 따라 들어가면서 알려줬습니다. 네, 지금 미리 대기하고 대기하고 있다면 모르겠습니다만 떨어지고 로커 보로만 가능하다면 자 어, 오버로드가 이게 좀 부담스럽죠. 어우, 그렇죠. 하나가 위치 잡아주고 자 넓게 지금 다시 한번 배치. 네. 자 아래쪽 내려왔습니다. 일단은 자리를 잡는 데는 성공을 했습니다. 베럭스 위치까지 아래쪽으로 조금 내려가서 네, 베럭스 위치까지 지금은 잡은 상태에서 스캔까지 건드릴 수 있는 위치가 제일 좋을 것 같은데요. 네. 잡는 상황이 됩니다. 자 차원 쪽 여기 흔들어. 자 본진의 드랍. 예 탱크를. 본선이에요. 생산하지 않으면서 백들 뽑았는데 이게 적어도 만화가 어느 정도 쌓일 때까지는 아 좀. 그라에 대한 대비가 됐었어야 되는 건데 네. 너무 큰일 난 겁니다. 배틀 만화 한번 빼놓고 차후에 가는 그런 그라 자체가 굉장히 무서워질 수 있습니다. 어, 들어갈 수 있게 들어간 다음에 위치 잡아버립니다. 네. 빼야 되거든요. 어우! 일꾼 다 찾아요. 네. 
아래쪽에 나왔어요. 터지까지 지금은 공원을 하는. 네, 이러면서 또 저분은 또이 진화 됐거든요. 저 이팔로까지 승류가 됐을 때 과연 이 테란이 저의 동일들을 막아낼 수 있을지도 네. 의문입니다. 네. 자 뒤에서 따라오고 있는 것 같죠. 디팔로가. 네. 테라는 싸우는데 누가요? 네. 어 플레이그. 거의 전병력이거든요 테라는. 어, 와 뭉쳤는데 머리 위로 제대로 뿌렸습니다. 네. 플레이그 제대로 지금 뒤집었어. 아유. 어떻게 수가 없을 정도로 정말. 네. 예 머리 위에. 싹스리 안에 싹스리. 떨어졌습니다. 시작. 아, 이 경기는 시작. 카이스나. 오. 인터 게이트. 김민찬 선수 아직 온라인 상에서도 프로토스 승률이 7할이거든요. 그렇습니다. 그리고 화이트하우스에서도 승률 자체가 굉장히 좋은 오. 모습인데 스케이트웨이. 네. 정원이 때렸다. 성큼 때렸다. 지금 바꾸고 어, 있어요. 안 먹어요. 네. 자, 무시하고 센터로 막아야 됩니다. 네. 자, 제가 하면 어, 체력 많이 빠졌어요. 네. 어, 진로지 안 먹어요. 야, 체력이 정말 예, 네. 바닥이라서 완전 본진 예, 쪽에서 지금은 로보틱스까지 올라가는 모습입니다. 아, 어, 되는데 거기에 그죠 이거? 예. 펼치 한번 나오나요? 좋은 위치에서. 와. 야, 따라가면서. 아, 그리고 지상군은 위쪽으로 가서 죽은 게 아니라 오른쪽으로 빠져나갔습니다. 아, 뒤에서 앞 맞아요. 앞에나 뒤를 하나 터졌습니다. 네, 앞에나 뒤를 따로 따로 지금 선택해서 녹일 수가 네. 있으면은 저 오른쪽도 한방한방 나오나요? 한 방. 자, 리번 살려요. 네, 지상 병력이 많이 녹았기 때문에 네. 지금 오! 최대한 야, 지형 활용하면서 네. 리버 포진 포진. 와, 이거 포진 포진. 와. 아, 근데 드론이 거의 없단 말이에요. 네, 그렇죠. 들 보세요. 힘들라도 지금은 꽤 많이 녹인 이런 상황이고 포진한 쪽에서 어, 자원 수급은 계속 되고 있기 때문에 이 와중에 앞마당 네. 이게 공업 셔틀 리버를 와. 따라잡기가 너무 어려워요. 생명력이 긴 리버예요. 내려와서도 그냥 가지 않아요. 네. 어, 한방더한방더 어, 리버. 23킬. 사람만 있어도 이 지역은 그 자체로 마비예요. 네. 영웅 리버예요. 네. 타게이트. 자, 정면 완전히 자리 잡았습니다. 어, 네. 변경 없죠. 야, 장윤철. 또 건물이 부러진다라는 게 크게 작용을 할 게, 네. 건물 게 저걸로 밖에 안 남게 되거든요, 그러면? 그렇죠. 뒤로 들어오는 히드라. 예, 거기에 맷집 역할을 해주는 드라곤도 어느 정도 모여있는 상, 모여 상황에서 리버가 둘이기 때문에 히드라 웬만한 양으로 싸움이 안 됩니다. 아, 케이드 리버, 케이드. 자, 장유철. 자, 리버, 케이드. 야, 리버, 생명력 킨. 리버. 야, 리버. 현재까지 리버 뽑은 것 중에서 하나만 뽑고. 나머지 이 승기의 리버! 몇킬 맞으셨나요? 이 판계에서! 와, 20점에서 리버로 취재! 장윤철만이 할수 있는 전술 선택 그리고 경기 운영이 아닐까? 안녕하세요. Welcome back to ASL. It's time to decide who advances to the next round. We've got a great PBT coming up here. Both our players uh, won pretty in a pretty commanding fashion. Sharp just dominating against mine, and we just saw Bess smashing Modesty. Now, I don't know how this game's going to look. I think Bess is maybe maybe the favorite here, but by a little bit. Yeah, yeah. I actually, I do think you're right. Like, I think that both Best and Rain should generally beat Sharp. It hasn't truly been the case, though. Uh, Sharp has been yeah. on a tear, a Protoss killing tear, uh, but I don't know. I, I, I feel like there's a few things you have to do against Sharp, like always have your wall and always have a goon in it, like at your natural. Because yeah. the way that Sharp wins the majority of his TVPs is Vulture's getting in. Yeah, like he just started to kill enough probes. He's relentless. He will check a hundred times to get Vulture's in. You just, you always have to make sure your wall is closed. It's like PVZ in StarCraft 2. It's like you just, you have to do it or you're going to lose. So if Best can keep on that and just play his normal game, I feel like he can win it and just get out in first place. Okay, our game is ready. We are moving to the map Neo Sylphid. Again, just one best of one. Both these players hungry to get out of this phase of the tournament where we start getting into more best of threes, best of fives. All right, Fight. our third game's ready. Let's go. Now playing in Neo Sylphid. <laughs> Whoa, there's a serious screaming going on. Down there. 
like a monkey scream. It was like a howl. <laughs> Listen, if a howler monkey can get a ticket for ASL, they're welcome. Yeah. Okay. So this PBT. Uh, we even let Protoss players into the studio to watch. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so uh, Neo Silphid, you know, we, we talked about this before, the changes where the easy to get third base is far lower on resources now, and the easy to get fourth, which is a mineral only, yeah, uh, is much wider open, so a little bit easier to attack in. Uh, both of these were kind of to combat the power of Terran here. I think before it was a very Terran map. I think yeah. this makes it, uh, I think it's Silphid is, uh, Neo Silphid is actually quite a good map. Oh, like, I like I, it. I played it a decent amount, and it, it feels it feels pretty cool. Like it, it definitely forces the Terran to, uh, you know, much more quickly take additional commands or try to finish the game out. Uh, anyways, because of these changes, I really like uh, heavier gateway units. I like Psy Storm on this map against yep. Terran. Uh, stuff it, basically you want to be able to just make sure you don't die to a th like two or three base Terran. Yeah. Uh, and then I feel like you can, if you're mobile enough, you can really do a good job here. So looking forward to seeing if Best agrees with that, if that's what he's going to go for. By the way, uh, we should point <laughs> out, um, it's I, I, the maps we have this season are just really cool in general. I know that we've gone a little crazy with some of our maps, and yeah. where we had Sparkle as one of the maps, but I'm glad we kind of have dialed it back that, to like, yeah, yeah. okay, the, these are... These are more useful if you're trying to learn. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, this is a great map. Like, yeah. this is this is pretty standard. Like, there's definitely some little things about the expansions and stuff. And but like, Silphid's a, a great map. Um, I think Whiteout is really cool. Mm -hmm. you, and you know that tree thing is quite interesting. Yeah, that, that seen vision, different play. scurrying vision thing over there. Yeah, yeah. But overall, I think it's just kind of a cool map. Um, blockchain. That's our crazy map this season. Yeah, and you gotta have one or two crazy maps. Yeah. yeah. Okay, you gotta make it interesting. Uh, and this is why StarCraft can basically be forever, guys, is because we just have all these different, um, all these awesome different types of maps. Whenever the game yeah, starts really to stagnate, fresh. we can actually just change a few features on a map, or, or, or uh, and now you have a totally different game that requires different openers and, and different play styles. Yeah, it really does make it more fun. So, okay. Just going for a single factory here, not keeping any additional SCVs on the gas. Looks like he will drive that probe away, only losing shields there. And uh, so far, this is all looking uh, very standard on both sides. Uh, the Protoss is just going to make a handful of Dragoons, get that range as, as quick as Protossly possible. Mm -hmm. uh, and then just Protossible. try to... Protossible. Protossible, thank you. And then uh, from there, he'll try to get an expansion up. Uh, yeah, yeah, and <clears throat> I imagine that, that Nexus will be coming up pretty quickly here. you got to be a little bit careful, though. People do two-fact on Neo Silphid yes. a reasonable amount. It's it, it's kind of a smaller map, so that can be strong. Two-factory is, is one of the easiest ways for a Protoss to just lose the game. You know, it's it, yeah. it, it, it's it's tricky, too, when you're playing a little bit blind, because, you know, if they're, if they're going for a, a quick command center, uh, you have to play a completely different game than if they're going for two-factory and rushing you. Yeah. And the thing is, like, we've seen some miraculous holds against two facts where it seemed like the two fact was a good counter yeah. to the Protoss build, but uh, you can't count on that. Like, if the Terran controls uh, really, really, really well, you're, you'll probably die with a lot of builds. So you gotta watch out. Now, uh, this is this is a pretty normal expand we see from Sharp. Getting the Vulture right away, uh, just having the Vulture. Yeah, see how he runs away with the goons. Uh, it's hard to even pressure the Terran <laughs> if if they do this one, right? It, yeah. Because this was really counterintuitive to me when I first saw Flash starting to do this, where he would get a Vulture out first, right? Without even an add-on a lot of the time. Yeah. Um, and just make a bunker, because it's like, well, I mean, range goods are, goons are good against that. But if you mess up, if you're out of position at all, first off, the Vulture does non-stop scouting. You can kind of get in and get out. Uh, but if if you like get into an empty main base or an empty natural, you kill umpteen probes. <laughs> it's just really worth it. So uh, we see that Bess is doing his absolute best to stop that from coming in. So right there's going to be a, a third gateway coming down here. There it is. Um, yeah, if you start to lose a few probes early on, a lot of these builds for Protoss are so fine tuned that it's really hard to get. Yeah. You know the right tempo from there on out. I mean, it, it, the Vulture is kind of insane for how cheap it is. Um, and how quick it is early on, even without speed, the amount of 
kills it can get on workers is, is insane. It's yeah. the scariest thing for Bronos early on. It's just, yeah. it's just a, a stray vulture in your base. And that's Sharp's main gig is getting vultures in yeah. people's bases. Any matchup. Like, he is just a vulture lover. So he did get mines first here, just kind of throwing them around. But this is three gate obs from best. Yeah, this so. is the, like, the most orthodox <laughs> player from best. Yeah. If you need to teach anybody PVT, this is actually the build. You say, listen, start yeah. with this until you get the hang of it, and then we'll, you know, graduate you to some other stuff. Now, I don't know if he's going to be getting a Reaver here. Reavers have been very popular um, yeah. after Expands, but um, maybe not. Uh, I tell you, I, I actually, like, from the point of view of best, if I was best coach and telling them how to play, i tell them probably skip the Reaver oh, uh, yeah. against Sharp. Um, in fact, probably against both these Terrans. But, <clears throat> like, I, I think on this map, what he's doing right now is pretty optimal against Sharp. Get your Observer out. Check to make sure if he's doing some sort of timing push or anything like that with your Observer, right? You have the Observer for Mines. You're sitting defensive in a defensive posture with your goons. Sharp is the type of guy who might have a dropship right now. So you got to be a little bit careful about that. Right. You know, he's got some spotter pylons on the edge. He's got a nice wall of goons in the front. Notice his goons walking back in the main right now. Because he realizes yeah. that dropship timing is coming right about now. Yeah. Of course, there is no dropship, but... You can tell Best really is playing the player here, too. Well said. Yeah, he's, he's, he's very much so concerned about the possibility of Vultures coming here and killing yeah. everything. But uh, for the time being, they're just both going to be powering on um, two bases. Mm -hmm. And this Observer coming in here, when he sees that it's just the Armory upgrading, he's going to know, OK, I, I know what I need to do now. Yeah. He sees everything, and he realizes, oh, OK, I can bring these goons out of the main base. Mm -hmm. He's not going for uh, any quick dropship or anything like that. He's got some. Anti Reaver mines placed. We just heard the first scan, so we know what Sharp knows basically. He realizes what build this is, and immediately, Best gonna take that third base and go up to uh, Arbiter, Tech, Arbiter here. Tech. Like, almost certainly that's where he's going immediately. Yeah. Um, yeah, basically, once you realize that they're doing this type of play, you need to, as a Protoss player, you need to invest in something that gives you uh, equity in the late game, and Arbiters are great for that. Stasis, yeah. recall. Um, Th those are the tools you have to have if you're going to fight a Terran army that's maxed out. Because the Terran upgrades, they scale better than the Protoss upgrades do. Yeah, yeah. And once you're against plus two attack, plus one armor, or if they get to three, three, which can happen too, I mean, your 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 ground, it's just your army just sucks. It's like an, them. yeah, it's an army from Krypton basically at that point. Yeah. So you need spells to deal with it. Yeah. You need storm and stasis yeah. and invisible stuff and you know every every trick in the book basically. <laughs> Yeah, and it, it, definitely on a smaller map like this as well. Uh, you got to really kind of push the Terran around as best you can with some of these. I would say this is like the most classic PVT we've had in a little while here. Yeah, yeah. This is really standard from both sides, and they're both giving each other loads of respect. Yeah. The way that they're moving around and everything, we've seen like very few attempts to even get damage on either side because if you try to get damage, a lot of times you can just get punished when the players are of this caliber. And so basically, he's just going to be waiting to see when these tanks are going to leave. Look at that. There's three observers here. He sees everything. Yeah. Now, I, there's always a chance when the Terran tries to take the third, that the Protoss will try to come out there and swat at it. But yeah. I don't know if it's going to happen this time. Basically, we just have Best on three gateways, teching up and making a lot of probes. Yeah, no, certainly uh, what he's going to do this game, because while that is definitely a popular thing, this third base, you're not going to attack kind of the shape of it and all. This is, this is a map, again, this is part of the reason they had to change the minerals and gas at this third, because it's so good defensively. What Best is going to do is take a fourth base. Uh, that fourth Nexus is going to be basically free, because uh, it, it just it's going to take a while for Sharp to have a good enough army to move out. OK. And he's ready for that, that uh, yeah. fourth base. Oh, wait. OK, wait, that blocks. There. Yeah, <laughs> it's one of those things where I'm like, oh. How many? He just missed nine goon shots in a row. Nine. Fifty yeah. percent miss rate. He missed nine in a row. So crazy. RNG guys. God. That was crazy. That was it's it, it, it's brutal, man. I gotta point out when it happens because when that happens, me, I miss nine uphill yeah, shots in yeah. a row. I'm just like, like, is this my reality right I now? Loot, yeah. Am I literally just that's, actually that's actually what I say. Yeah. I'm like, is this even real? Like, <laughs> could yeah. this? Can this be? It's crazy. So the shuttle. Um, I'm sorry, wait, he didn't get Reaver Tech, did he? No. Is that just a shuttle flying in there like, ah, yeah. look at this? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> really. He made the units go back. It's kind yeah, of annoying. No, no, it's just, it's one of these things. I it's mean, probably just zealots, yeah. I guess. Get the SCV making the armory. 
Oh, oh DTs. it's DTs. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. This trick. Yeah, yeah this nice. is one of these things you can do. So, if you're getting an Arbiter, one of the little dirty tricks Protoss can have is they put DTs into a shuttle. Now, you're forcing them to scan every time they drop it, if they, if they skipped on turrets. Wow. This is actually loads of damage. This is fantastic harassment right here. So, every time he drops that DT out, the Terran has yeah. to scan. And the hope is that when the actual big fight happens and the Arbiter's with this army, um, the, the Terran might not have enough scans ne necessary to, to hold this off. Mm -hmm. So he's just now seeing Engineering Bay being made. Yeah. He didn't even have one. Yeah, it's kind of a funny thing, too. Like, um, if your uh, Terran opponent is playing by the book, if you see mines early on, then they aren't going to make Goliaths as well. It's kind of like a funny... Oh, yeah. I guess that's right. Yeah, yeah like, they'll still get the armory, but they're trying... Like, you can't you can't yeah. afford everything, right? So, if you see Goliaths, there's no mines. If you see mines, there's no Goliaths. Generally speaking, I'm sure that you'll hit people that do the... that play, like, suboptimally, but that made that shuttle drop, like, work better, right? If you have ranged Goliaths yep. already, you just... You don't even bother. Yeah, you don't want to get close. Yeah. That was like another very nice uh, probe side too, by the way. So uh, Zelt Legs is not done yet because he was in a big rush to get the Arbiters. But there should be just like a ton of gateways back at home for the Protoss. And, um, yeah. Ow. You kidding me? Oh, that was that's a lot of damage. God. Yeah. Okay, so he's going to try to come out here and just clean up these mines. He's also going to try to drop this DT. This is just going to die, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. That was not good. Well, I guess he's scouted that EMP is on the way, so that's good intel at least. Yeah. But uh, the last several things have gone Sharp's way as opposed to Best's. Yeah, Best uh, isn't out of this yet, but <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're yeah. definitely right. Double Forge here, so he is intending to eventually have stronger units here. Well, if he gets a good engagement or a good recall or anything like that, then, I mean, he could take the lead at that point. But right. He's lost some extra probes this game. Sharp hasn't really lost anything. He lost a shuttle and the two DTs. Like... These things are not gigantic deals, but when you put them all together, definitely you have to look at this and say that Sharp has a little edge right now. So what we're waiting to see is uh, when this plus two attack, plus one armor upgrade finishes, the Terran should be trying to move out. And it's gonna be up to the Protoss to either try to counter attack or directly engage it with the Arbiters using stasis or to try to recall into the main uh, and draw the army back. By the way, this is something that's it's, it's not clear until you've played a lot of StarCraft games, but there's this weird rule in this matchup where like, if the Protoss <laughs> recalls, in yeah. the main, some people would think, why doesn't the Terran just push across the map and kill the Protoss? They can't quite do it. Yeah. The amount of damage it's done, and here we go. Oh, that, that was is a good such recall. such an insane uh, number of units, and the mines were not set off. By the way, he's going to dive on the armory. Yeah, that's that a great out targeting. Now. Yeah, it looks like he's just targeting that with as many Zolts as can hit it, so he's going to cancel that upgrade. That's huge. Uh, it looks like plus one armor already finished, so that was plus two attack. That's actually the much more important yeah. upgrade. So he got he got a little bit lucky there. That's awesome for him. So because this first recall came in here, it will eventually be cleaned up. But this is a problem where it, 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 there's this rate that Protoss starts to produce stuff where they can just keep throwing Arbiters into yes. the main and recalling over and over and over and over. And the Terran is eventually just wiped out. Now, I think we're going to have a counterattack here. Let's see. Yep, he's going to try to push in here. And I don't know what's actually here to defend. Well, I, I still don't think you're going to be able to break this. It's This is a very hard spot to attack into. He's going to send some units up, but the rally point should be nearby. I think he should be able to hold this without too much damage. Yes, oh, good nice side, storm. side storms on those tanks. Wouldn't mind that in the mineral line either. Okay, an EMP, Ooh, nice EMP. Uh, on the, on the uh, Arbiter here. Okay, Anytime so... Anytime you could snipe the vessel, by the way, it's worth it. It's for Protoss. This was actually a good attack. A really good attack by Best. Yeah. I thought it wasn't going to do quite that much, but it got some SCVs, it got a few tanks. He didn't really lose too much of value there. This is one gate arbiter, right? One star gate arbiter? Yes. Okay. Right now, right now. So it is. He, he lost the first arbiter, the second arbiter was EMP'd, so it's actually going to be a little while before we can have another recall. Important to note. Yeah, he, but you're quite right what you said. Like, you're, you're going to be able to continually recall, especially once you get one recall off. There's now a hole to recall because it's very hard for Terran to do everything they need to do, plus reset up turrets oh, and yeah. mines in a very clumped and cluttered base. So this this is a really good point, Artos. Is, uh, yeah, what, once Terran's been broken in their main, it's so hard to then set everything back yeah. up. Yeah, you know, it's re it is really difficult. Whoa. That's what it comes down to. And yeah, Sharp is a pro gamer and very fast and everything, but it's still very hard for him to set that up. Like we saw, he started two turrets, 
and there were still some units in the main, so one of the turrets didn't even finish. He's got like two mines down there. It's still very recallable. Uh, okay, he's gonna try to attack in here. This might be too much though. Yeah, he's gonna have to back up. Best is now maxing out. So from here, Best is going to try to just control the map and keep tearing on three bases. Now that's the more wide open fourth bases you can see, just kind of running in here with this full army targeting down that uh, command center. Yeah. Not sure like if he's actually gonna end up killing it. Oh, he's gonna lose that Arbiter, kind of yeah, sloppy by Bess. One of the things you can't afford to do, he does get the CC. I guess it's worth if you get that CC. Yeah. Oh no, if he's gonna lose four high Templars to just these Vultures? Well, that's just Great so sight. ideal. It's so yeah. ideal there for the Terran. Yeah, that's awesome for sure. Okay, uh, as this game goes on here, it's still Terran on three bases. And you know what? Oh, yeah. He did not take a fifth during all this. Normally, you, you will take your fifth around the time that you're hitting a recall. Uh, but I, he did lose those additional probes as well, so maybe he felt like that wasn't something he was able to do at the time. But he's maxed out. He has a bit of a bank. The fifth base is going to be a, a big point of contention okay, here. Like, we're he needs we're actually, to take it. We're finally having this push, and this is where the Protoss has to actually not die here. And he actually has better upgrades than Sharp, I believe. I believe it's 1-1 one, one against 2-1. One. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Okay, so yeah, 2-1. One, yeah, 1-1s, one, because he killed that army. That was such great targeting by him. Okay, there's another Arbiter that's going to fly around for a recall. Let's see if the Vessel can actually EMP this. Ooh, oh, well, that wasn't what he really wanted to EMP, but okay. <laughs> Doesn't have enough energy for another one quite yet. Okay, oh. finally has that plus two. That's okay. really important. Sharp's going to try to, uh, excuse me, Best is going to try to run around here. We don't see any stasis cast just yet. Here we go, another EMP on that Arbiter. Oh my god, really a big moment right there. Not that many zealots at the top, but there's a good chunk at the bottom right now. Oh, a beautiful defense matrix. Zealots spreading out, though. A nice size storm on some of the back tanks okay, as well. So zealots start to disappear. Protoss needs to back yeah, up yeah. and start macroing out a lot more gateway units. But he has slowed the push down. It's an important thing you said right there. It was a good pullback. And look at this. He runs up, snipes what he can with the goons, but needs to stay out of range. Goons will get plastered by these tanks. Killer Arbiter. Oh man, three kills on three an Arbiter? Three kills on an Arbiter, man. It's gonna be four. He's like, how about four? See you in hell. Wow. There's not a Goliath to be found. <laughs> I know, where, yeah, there's just not He's got 1.2 gig gas, too. He needs to make, he needs to make a Goliath. Okay, keep in mind that Terran's third base is almost dried up, which yeah. is sort of what best game plan is, is just to weather the storm. And so, Sharp is gonna try to send that command center over into the upper left. Yeah, he's going to retake that same fourth base as before. Uh, Bess is taking his own fifth down at the bottom. And Sharp hasn't made too much uh, progress through the center. Like at the beginning of that battle, it looked pretty good, and then Best held it off enough. I like that uh, Sharp kind of withdrew a little bit, reinforced his position, because as soon as you lose your big clump of tanks, uh, that's where the comeback becomes extremely difficult to get. Bess is very close to closing this one out. He just needs to get um, over to that third base, get a recall, get something. Because Terran is basically so low on, on resources that like every tank is, is of significance now. <laughs> if you lose a handful of tanks, it's like, oh, yeah. man. OK, here we go. Now, he's actually going to get the recall over there. Awesome. Sick. Great move. Great Look move. At this. The Dragoons are going to dive on that command center. That's, that's the right play. You want to get that immediately. Yeah, to pick that off is just huge. He's going to probably have to float like the main CC or I something. I think you're right, yeah. Ooh, By the way, we don't have beat. any stasis in this game. It's been yeah, an, I guess you're right. it's been an insane, insanely strong game by best without having a stasis that actually was cast yet. Well, he does have Psy Storms going off all over the place, so those definitely are helping quite a bit. Uh, now, this push forward is really, really strong by Sharp, and it has to be because he's almost mined out everywhere now. Normally, okay. you'd have that third base for a long time still. No, no, no. Like you said, Tasteless, it is going to be gone soon. Um, I think we're actually in this weird spot where the rallies are actually farther out than where this thing is. <laughs> you so might it's be like right. You're just seeing stuff like run out there and get killed. He doesn't have gates anywhere else on the map. He does have a group of units up at the top. So he can come in for a flank, but there's a lot of mines in between. OK. Fortunately, there is one observer down there. Nicely done. Takes out that tank. Is he going to be able to bust through this? He's got great upgrades. It's 3-2 against 2-2 two, two right now. So Bess has done fantastically keeping up as far as the upgrades go. OK, he's going to try to come out again. We need a good stasis here. Uh, I guess Psystorm's going to have to do There's not enough energy to actually pull a stasis yeah. off. 
If he had a stasis on those middle oh. four tanks, he would have crushed this army. Great uh, defense matrix. Is Sharp actually going to pull this off? Yeah, I think so. Sharp is effectively dead, but if this push isn't stopped, then Best is going to die anyways. It is pretty so crazy. So crazy. Yeah, he's long distance mining. He has no minerals. His third base just on the last mineral disappeared. Yeah. <laughs> You're right. He's yeah. like not even mining. Yeah, he's like actually not mining. Oh, the targeting is fantastic here. Hey, this push from Sharp is still deadly. Oh my god, Vulture's into this fifth base. This is so good. Damn. Yeah. This is a crazy game right now. But you, uh, you know what? Stasis only costs like 100, 100 to get. Yeah. If he had a stasis on the middle four tanks on that last bus that we saw him try to do, I oh, think he would have yeah. broken the army completely. You just need to get a good stasis on a clump of tanks. Yeah. And then, you're, then you're not eating so much damage and you can run in here. Like, look at this. He's out. Barely getting over there in time. Okay, I think Best might have just narrowly pulled this off. Uh. He just Best needs to get like in front of these tanks. Oh my god, he's yeah. still just barely pushing through. Craziness. Long distance mining over here in the top left. There's one Dragoon, I think, still over there. Slowly, slowly but surely hitting uh, other workers. Oh my god. Best only is mining from his fourth base. Okay. Yeah. This is Oh yeah. This is wild right now. This is a lot of tanks bias. And this is the type of situation where you don't even really need vultures. The Goliaths actually do just about as well. And they're going to oh, keep any arbiters away. There is no Dragon of That's an Observer. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, oh, my God. This is such a great game. This is this is wild. I this really is... want to see Best break this army. I think what Best has to do is stay back. Yep, here we go. Ah, the recall. Okay. Uh, yeah, there it is. Okay. okay, now, that means there's almost nothing left at Best Space. But at least he's no longer contained by that crazy force. Okay, the force is actually turning around instead of going to kill his main, which I think is That's probably, probably the right correct. move. I think, yeah. yeah, I think if you're Protoss, you actually want them to try to come in there. You're going to lose too much as Terran just trying to hack yeah. your way through all that. Okay, and he gets the CC now. He might have a second Arbiter. He might be able to recall this back. That would be wild. If he has a second Arbiter somewhere and does that, that is an amazing move to get this out because otherwise okay. he's going to lose his whole army. Yep, he gets the command center. That is gone. Okay, now he just wants to run. You do not have to have this fight. There's That's nowhere to the run last to command center that Terran has, by the way. Oh, I'm sorry. Second to last. So he's still got the one in the main. My God. Now, keep in mind, guys, if when this is going on, if he loses the science vessels or they get stasis, there might not be a lot of scans here. They're having to lift the command centers that were actually back at home. So it's like one of these funny yeah. situations. These are these little oh subtle my things God. about the matchup. Yeah, that's that's yeah. a good point, actually. That happens in TVP this sometimes. This is a great way for the Protoss to try to win in the end, is they just, yeah. you suddenly realize they've been scanning, looking for expansions the whole time, and they only have one scanner. Mm -hmm. And then the Arbiter comes in, you, and you just stasis the vessel. Now, and it's like, good night. Does he have another Arbiter? I haven't seen it. He should. I don't think he actually does. He's been spending all his gas what's, on what's High Templars, making it? Archons and stuff. Yeah, I mean, he's had pretty high gas. Yeah. Mm. But it, so you would think he has another arbiter, but I By don't way, see one. The recall out though, you're completely right. Like that's the way to get his army out. Yeah. I actually think Sharp's making a mistake not pushing that army. I, I feel like he should just push it and make it fight him because this is the one moment he can kill that. And if he kills that chunk of army effectively, yeah. efficiently, then I think it's like if, if Protoss is not super careful with this. Yeah. It, it, it it'll it'll backfire. You know what I mean? You're, you're basically trying to, to do damage where they're not. Oh, two more Arbiters. Two more Arbiters. Okay, he doesn't have energy for recalls now, yet, though. He could recall into the um, into the main here. I mean, that's where all the Ooh. infrastructure is. I wonder how many mines are in the main. I don't think many. Yeah, probably not enough. I think it's very low, but the thing is, if you recall on a couple mines and you don't realize it, then... Like, both players are playing with so little right now that damage is at a premium, but keeping your units alive oh is as well. Oh, my God. I don't know how many Templars me. he just lost there. Two. That's actually too, too many, Huge. man. I mean, you, the, the Templars are one of the major assets in the late game. Yeah. His size storm, especially with clumped Terran armies, is, is just incredibly strong. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, this is funny. <laughs> okay. I mean, I guess you could do that, yeah. Yeah. Right now, um, what Sharp is trying to do is eliminate uh, potential new expansions. His best is about to mine out of the center right, so you know there's a new place he's got to go. Oh, oh, nice EMP. Nice EMP. This should get recalled relatively soon, but actually he might not have enough time because no, Sharp is right pushing now. it. He's, he's got me Does he have the energy? I thought he would. Yeah, those right? units are important. Uh, uh, no, he doesn't oh, have no, the energy. Doesn't. 
He doesn't have it. Wow. Okay, so this is a like last last second army kill, but you see how hard he's trying to keep it alive. Yeah, he's trying to buy time. Oh, I love it. Five. Quicker shot. Go get him. Get it. Get him. Recall. Ooh. Oh, that was so good. Oh, oh, that was so great. I'm getting chills. This wow, game is this amazing. Is just, yeah, this has been one of the best games we've casted in a while. Since the Snow Sulky game. This is just... <laughs> okay, so we're now in the in, in, a, in a part of this game where it gets weird, and, and we have actually departed from a standard PvT uh, because the Terran is now acquiring bases you're not supposed to be able to get as Terran, and the Protoss, is, it, it, the games become scrappy enough, the Protoss can't come in there for a finisher or a punish. And yeah. so we're, we're now in... in, in, in sort of uncharted PvT territory. I mean, normally the Terran either wins with that big timing push, crushing through, or the Protoss holds him off and there's no way to expand. But in this case, we've got an exception here. By the way, I think a shuttle with Storm Drop is what you gotta do here. Okay. You wanna Storm Drop that expansion. Well, I don't know if that's gonna work with these mines up and everything. Can you drop Templars in those squares, like back there? No, I don't, I don't think so. Can you? Maybe. I don't, I don't think you can. Ooh, that's a big pickoff. Oh my god. Oh, that was sick. Are you kidding me? Mr. Clutch great, over greatest here. Greatest human ever. Greatest human. Oh, here we go! Oh, I didn't realize there were mines Ooh! in there. Oh, I didn't. He abused that so hard by dropping the Zots. That was sick. Drop the Templar last and got the rest of the SCVs. Okay, well now at best is pre probably feeling very confident. You know how we always say there's some names you shouldn't name yourself? Like yeah. Rain and... Uh, hero. Hero. Uh, well, here's the thing. Both these guys should name themselves Hero. Because this game is a very heroic game This is one of sides. the funnest PVTs I've cast in a long time. Yeah. I mean, the fact that Terran is like actually now expanding to the top left, and it's like, uh... He's got two bases, man, but he doesn't have many SCVs. <laughs> Best taking okay. another base. I think Best needs to go to the top right as well. Like he needs, he needs more yes. than he has. Okay, now we're getting to the part Ooh. where the, you can get pretty creative with these arbiters. Oh look, I bet you that he's going to try just EMP. Dive yeah, on that. if he can EMP this clump of arbiters, like you have to be careful with your arbiters at this point. Oh my game, god, because oh they are god. game yeah, winners. I'm getting stressed out just seeing this. Like this many yeah. arbiters on top of each other is like a no-no. It's yeah. one of the cardinal sins of, 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 of being a Protoss player. If you just stack all your arbiters so true. together. Look, oh! look, 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 look. You're kidding me. He got him. Now okay. you have four flying paperweights, my friend. That was sloppy by best because you're you're very right about these other things. Like he's floated all his command centers. So like you make a new comm set, sure, but you don't have a bunch of built up comm set energy. EMPs on vessels at this point are so clutch. But now he's or not EMPs, sorry, um stasis. Have we not seen a stasis still? No, we've not had a stasis. He doesn't know that that's a spell. He yeah, he has no, no idea. idea. Yeah, yeah. He's pretty uh, sure recall's all you need. He's normally right, but maybe not this oh, game. Oh! Good kill there. Real sloppy Wait, there. Terran's at 3-3 three, three now, right? They both should be at 3-3. Three, three. I think they might both be at 3-2 because their economy's dried up. It's a possibility. Isn't it funny that the Arbiter has an attack? Every time I'm looking at this, I'm yeah. shaking my head, like, seriously? I actually think in a lot of situations it would have been stronger if it didn't because it's it, targeting priority on it would be so low. Oh, that's a good point. Yeah. yeah. Are you serious? Oh my god. That was beautiful. The he EMP master over here. Oh, that Look one was already probably EMP, but wow. Still. Uh, I think now Sharp is going to be able to close this yeah. one out, Artosis. Yeah. yeah. There's nowhere that Best can really take. There's not much left for him here. He, Getting all of his arbiters EMP'd multiple times here was... That was the mistake. This was a fantastic game, though. Yeah, look at this. Um, I gotta say, man, this is one of these games where the Terran was heroic enough. He managed to actually expand where you're not really supposed to be able to take. And here comes a counterattack, but is this too much? I mean, with no stasis available, yeah, I mean, right now Bess is basically surrounded here. He loses his Nexus. He'll clean up those units that are up there, but his army is exceedingly small right now. Oh, good snipe on the vessel. Survives his God! This is never going to have enough. He's yeah. never going to have enough. That's it. GG. Wow. Yeah. Sharp is just looking such great. a great player. That was really such is. a cool game. I mean, he's got such that a fun so style fun. as well. Like, the amount that he snipes probes, no one is on that level of probe sniping. So much patience, too. He had no money, guys. He had no resources coming in. He was long-distance mining. 
he, he made cornered yeah. best just enough and then managed to get that base set up there and then ditched his position outside the natural to just uh, defend and go for the long game. And uh, by the way, the number of EMPs there, I mean, that was yeah. just something else. Well, he should not have had four armors clumped on top. That of was best fault for sure. Yeah. Uh, but that was an awesome game, just awesome. And they both definitely look like the best players in the group. I do agree that Best is going to get out second here now. That one could have gone either way, though, got to say. OK. We're going to have an interview now. Yes, uh, yeah, so seven, Group C, round of 16. First person to Best to round of eight. It's sharp. Congratulations. Thank you. 와, 이렇게까지 큰 환호가 나온 건 아마 16강 들어서 정말 처음인 것 같은데. I think that's probably the loudest cheer we heard in round of 16. 어려웠습니다. It was a very close match. 끝까지 소감부터 일단 들어볼까요? How do you feel now? 일단 끝날 때까지 끝난 줄 몰랐는데 이게 I didn't know it was over until it was over. 싸움에서 이어가지고 너무 좋았어요. It was a real bloodbath. I'm glad I made it through. 이번 도적 선수의 승리는 사실 벌초로 견제를 잘 막아주고 있는 와중에 도적 선수 리콜이 굉장히 날카로웠어요. 네. So a uh, best recall. Was really sharp, uh, and you almost lost there, but you managed to manage to resist and turn the tide. Ah, 그래도 제가 이제 그 멀티를 계속 마인으로 매설을 해놨어요. So I, I kept harassing the expansions with with spider mice. So if if I managed to block the recall, I feel I felt I could uh, eventually dry him. 어, 딜레이 채취까지 하면서 정말 말씀하신대로 피터진의 승부가 이어졌는데 이 마지막에 EMP로 아비토를 잡아냈을 때 그때 좀 승기를 확인하셨을 것 같거든요. So you probably felt you won when you got the arbiter with with EMP. 맞추는 거를 좋아하거든요. I really do enjoy using EMP. 아비토가 또 오더라고요 거기서. And I saw the arbiter coming. 바로 보자마자. And as soon as I saw it, I I went with the EMP. And I was certain that I couldn't lose. 첫 번째 경기 박성균 선수와의 매치도 그렇고 두 번째 경기도 그렇고 조기석 선수의 꼼꼼함이 진짜 빛났던 경기가 아닐까. Both your matches in the first match and against Best. Uh, you felt really, uh, you played really well. What do you think of your play today? Well, to be honest, I still think uh, I, I have uh, improvements to make. Uh, I think my, I would rate myself about 80% of my, my potential today. So you'll be facing uh, Players who advance to second place from other groups, Horangi and Last. Both players are really good. As for Last, he has a he's suffering from wrist injury, but he's still a very good play. Uh, he, he's still a very good player, and I would like to avenge him for, for last season. And I have high goals this season. What is your high goal? So out of all the players, it's, uh, so far the Terran players are last and me, and I feel that I, sh I, should, uh, I should win the championship, bring honor to Terran. So a lot of fans cheered for you today, can you say anything to them? Many fans told me that they will come here to cheer me during my stream, and I'm glad I made it out 2-0. And I just, I, just feel, I just feel happy to be able to play in front of large crowds. And lastly, I would like to, I would like to uh, thank my, uh, thank my friends who helped me practice. Like initially, I was planning some other build for my first set, but Mini told me, uh, different build and I went with it. <laughs> so thank you everyone uh, for helping me practice. Uh, look forward to me in round of eight. That's it. Hey. What a hero. I mean, that, that was just such an awesome game. Yeah, I mean, he's such a great player with a great mindset. I find it really interesting he says he thinks he played at 80% of his potential.
Wow. Crazy. Uh, we'll be right back, guys, with the losers match. Don't go away.기만 들어갔어요. 네, 본진 안쪽에 두기, 입구 쪽에 이제 그 아, 캐논 하나, 그 다음에 아, 파일럿 하나, 드라곤 하나, 질럿 하나 이런 식으로 세워가면서 아, 정글링이 한 군데 이상 지금은 입구 쪽으로 들어왔었는데 두기만 이 우선 통과 시켰고요. 네. 아, 컨트롤은 아, 오늘 아, 상대방의 스커디만 스커디에 대한 위협에서만 벗어나게 된다면은 커세어가 힘을 쓸수 있습니다. 어, 좋았어요. 자 앞쪽에다가 소음을 커세어가 그렇게 죽은 것 같은데요. 예. 네. 오 이거 또 형수로 조심해야 되겠는데요. 네. 이게 템플러도 조심해야 되고 우와. 허세어도 지금은 숫자가 우와. 계속 증가되면은 와 이걸 다 잡았어요 보치 쪽 보치 쪽 보치 쪽 보치는 아무것도 없어요 잡았죠 어떻게 해요 자 도그는 또이 어, 이, 또 특수한 건물 배치 또 이제 패터리 다수 의패터리 나오는 동력으로 막으면 그만이고요 힘으로 네, 요 라인을 돌파를 해서 보치까지 들어가야 되는데 시작하겠습니다. 아, 아, 의심 하고 있죠. 네. 의심 하고 있습니다. 거슬러 왔는데 드론이 의심 하고 있어요. 아, 예. 아, 이거 있는데요. 이거 때려야죠 이제. 완성도 안 됐어요. 네. 어, 하필은 왼쪽으로 갔어요. 왼쪽, 왼쪽, 왼쪽. 네. 어, 완성 안 돼, 완성 안 돼, 완성 안 되면. 자, 위쪽으로. 여기서 쪽으로 완성. 예, 소리로 완성될 때까지 계속 압박이거든요. 네, 후속 때 드론으로 막아낸다고 하더라도 이게 어찌 어찌 막아내면서 어. 조글링이 나와야 되는 건데. 네, 혹은 앞에 있는 드론들만 좀 어느 정도 잡아내게 되면은 네. 벙커 완성이 됐기 때문에 네. 입구 쪽 네. 때릴 수 있고 네. 쫓겨났어요. 아, 드론과 같이 붙어서 풀퍼 없죠. 이거 찌르면 네. FTV 다 잡아야 됩니다. 예, 예, 손비 태워되기 때문에 아, 말렸어요. 진대. 아, 최종전 대결의 시작. 습니다 김성현 선수가 초반에 이제 승부수를 어찌됐든 띄우는 걸로 7배럭 빠르게 올린 상황이고요. 다 서겠다라는 건데요. 네. 어, 이거 더블로 시작하거든요. 게이트웨이를 또 아래쪽에다 건설을 했어요. 그러니까 슬쩍 정찰하면 은 사실 비껴나갈 수도 있는 상황인데 네. SCV가 하나도 맞아요. 아니고 계속 나오고 있다는 라 거. 아, 이거 아, 다른 쪽에서 건물이 지어져 있구나라는 것을 확인을 지금은 할수 있죠. 아, 근데 질러 이제 나왔고. 자, 오늘 그냥 오늘 자기 쪽 경쟁을 좋아하거든요. 오늘 돌을 못 쏘고 있어요. 자, 못 내려가게, 못 내려가게. 쫓아낸 드리라, 쫓아낸 드리라. 이게 내요? 야, 아빠. 뒤에다가 하락수지. 예, 뭐 아카데미 지고 뭐 자유니 경력 모아서 뭐 매직으로 한번 가겠다라는 건가요? 그렇죠. 파열이 변했 때. 어떤 아래쪽에서 이제 올라오는 모습인데요. 네. 자, 앞으로 SCB가 더 내려오고 있는 상황이고 네. 병력들이 위에 올라와서 싸우기 시작을 하면 은 그때부터는 상대방을 돌아붙이면서 싸울 수 있거든요. 네. 강한데요, 바이오닉 병력들. 네. 네. 아, 저런 코드, 저런 코드 빼버리죠. 그냥 무시하고. 의심을 하고 있었습니다만은 자, 나오는 거 그냥 파이어헤드로. 하나 더. 네, 아까보다 좀덜 맞아서 여기까지 왔는데요. 네. 아, 어, 이거 자체도 데미지죠, 결국은. 네, 네. 계속 나오거든요. 네, 계속 하나씩 하나씩 나와요. 예. 하나씩 하나씩. 예. 파이어벳 탱크 조합입니다. 아, 도망가는 경로에 지금 바이오닉 병력들이. 저쪽으로 가면 죽음이에요. 네, 여러 가지로. 아, 살아나가기가 쉽지가 않습니다. 아, 예수 친구야, 길마. 아, 불발. 아. 네. 기회를 좀 만들어 보려고 애를 쓰고 있거든요. 치즈. 최자조에서 그러니까 최자조에서 최자조에서 살아남고 최종전에서 마저도 지금은 구원받는 모습입니다. 
Welcome back to the ASL. Uh, we just had a killer PBT. It's going to be a tough one to top, but we can try. Coming up next, it's Modesty versus Mind. A TVZ, the loser of this best of one, is out of the ASL. The winner goes up to face off against Best, who is looking yeah. to be in excellent form. Yeah, and that's that's a really tough one, especially it's on blockchain that final match. So uh, you definitely got your work cut out for you if you're in this loser match right now. Now going into Neo Sylphid, uh, Modesty has very nice ZBT. Of course, Mind has very good TBZ as well. But just saying, uh, I I am quite certain that his uh, other two matchups are considered stronger than his ZBT. Oh, I agree. They were saying earlier that that is his weakest. I would definitely <laughs> concur on the games I've seen. I've been very impressed with a lot of his TBZs in the past. So, uh, going into this match, let's not forget, both these guys had really rocky games to, to end up in the losers match. They were both smashed pretty handedly. Um, and so, we'll see how they play this time around, but right now these guys have not had a great performance. No, not yet. Well, the It'll be kind of interesting to see uh, what Mind wants to go for here. I think it's going to be probably two hatchery play for Modesty. I'd be kind of surprised to see anything else. Yeah, I think you're probably right. Yeah, you, you want to try to abuse Mutas here a little bit. Maybe rush into Ultra or something like that. You could play a, maybe a more standard way, but I don't I don't think Lurker Defense is as good on this map. I think it's more of a, okay. a Muta into like Ling Ultra type of map, in my opinion. Okay, Modesty versus Mind is coming up. We are once again going to be on Neo Sylphid. And um, it's, it's going to be a tough day for one of these two guys. Even if you win here, you have to go up against Best, who is looking to be just in, in incredibly strong shape. That last game is going to be on blockchain. I don't know, Artosis. It's yeah. your turn to talk. I don't know. Say something. I don't know. No. There's <laughs> nothing else to sum up here. I'm ready for it to start. Yes, Let's... please. Let's see what the strategy I don't know what the is for mine. Is. Okay, finally the game's ready. Let's do this. Modesty versus mine. Fight! Fight until you die! Now playing in Neo Sylphid. You know, it's interesting. It's like it, it, it's loud here in the studio today. Like you can hear people yeah, talking yeah, yeah. and cheering and reacting. Like it's, it's. Uh, by the way, we got no chance in the audience. I didn't notice that. Um, hmm. But uh, yeah, no. It's just like it's. You can feel an energy here. It's really cool. Indeed, a lot of uh, fans for these guys. Best and uh, Sharp, definitely two of the more popular streamers on Afrika TV. Not that uh, Mind isn't popular. He's pretty popular as well, but. Certainly not as much as the other two in this crowd <laughs> with the, the zero chances. Yeah, yeah. That's sad when you realize, oh, nobody cheered for either guy. It's like, yeah. Mm. People are just saying, is Best going to get out of this group? <laughs> well, he, he looks like it right now, but you don't want to count these guys out. It is best of one format. There are a, There's a, a wealth of strategies that can be chosen on each map that, that can really catch you off guard sometimes. You never know, sometimes someone just plays and they're on for a game and it's, yeah. you know, play above their normal level. And oh my God, yeah, game. that's how full it is. That's a shot to the back where our lobby is. You can see people have already filled up. The producer just let me know that all tickets were sold out, so people are having to stand there in the back. Yeah, every single seat. Yeah. It's pretty crazy. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, so uh, Modesty is probably going to be throwing uh, just threw his pool down now. We're gonna have a hatch coming in a little bit. Okay, yeah, I'm not surprised to see this. This is Modesty's favorite opener is uh, just going for a 12 pool and then he'll take an expand. Yeah. And this just gets you a ridiculously quick layer, basically. Like as yeah. as your pool finishes, you will have enough gas easily. You're, oh, also, actually, you're also not gonna die to anything early on. Mm -hmm. Just getting the pool right away. Every Zerg has yeah, experienced one of these bunker that's rushes true. from Terran where it's like you know, it's, it's enough to make anybody crazy when you lose to a bunker rush like that and you get knocked yeah. out of ever having a good, you know, yeah, a it's game such that you a, can exhibit your skill in late game. It's one of those really simple builds that have a very high reward. So I I bet you as a Zerg on the ladder, it's wretched. Oh, yeah. <laughs> to, to play against that. But no, I experienced that when I would watch my brother play. 
Yeah. Is when he's starting to get bunker rushed, you're looking at it and you're like, oh, he's not going to hold this. It's like, I got to walk out of the room. Yeah. He is not even going to want to see another human being uh, <laughs> if he loses this game. No, like, this is totally. just, yeah. It's kind of like if someone proxy a Zell, it's a Terran. It's like sometimes, yeah. you, sometimes you just don't micro it, you die. Yeah, you're just like, like, oh, wow. I am so angry right Ooh. now. I can't <laughs> believe this. Some, there's some painful ways to yeah. die in this game, no doubt. So uh, mine scouts exactly what it is. He'll go for the command center, and then he'll go into two barracks play almost 100%. Yeah. Uh, you can't stay on one racks uh, against this because it's just the mutas are going to come too quickly. He's going to have links too quickly. You really need to field a lot of marine medic uh, as quickly as you can just to stay alive. Now, uh, there's the I guess the interesting thing about this map in particular in this matchup and why I was saying I would think for sure it would be a two hatch play. You see all uh, this wall around. You can't see over that, right? Yeah. On a, let's let's talk about fighting spirit for a second, right? All around your main base, you can see down. You're on the high ground. Right. The only place where the mutas can really hide is above your natural. Yeah, so your, your base is bucketed on this map. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Right. You're you're at the bottom of the bucket, and the mutas can come in from all sorts of angles. Whereas you know on a the quote unquote standard maps, something like fighting spirit. You, you know where they are. You, either they are above your natural, which is the normal place, so you'll generally build more turrets there, or you can just see them everywhere else. So on also, this map, they can actually like really harass near the barracks and kind of wherever your Marines are. If your Marines are trying to go from natural to main and stuff, the mutas will consistently hit them as they walk through the little show. One thing to notice, Fighting Spirit's kind of a funny map. You're like so tucked into the corner. Mm -hmm. There's like not nowhere near as many ways to come in around. Yeah, if you look at this, true. like, you're sort of in a corner in some of the starting locations, but not really. There's like this big open area. Yeah, there's more surface that, area to that fly That you in. can start to abuse and fly into. Mm -hmm. So all those things are like really important to take into consideration here when defending his mine. Now it looks like he wants to do just a little bit of a push out yeah, here. This is just to make them make a sunken colony. You're never gonna like run in there unless they don't make the sunken colony. Yeah, and you start if they to kill just their workers. don't see it, like yeah. it seems like he might not have seen oh, it. So my God. this five marine pressure is okay. so funny. This is so weird. This well, is actually not only weird. This is this is really bad, actually, because yeah. that, that, you know the the sunken colony wow. loses HP when it comes out. So this is gonna. So this guy just might die to like eight marines, not even eight marines. Yeah, it was five with a six coming up. So this is um, this is this is horrible. This is bad. Yeah, it looks like the mutas just sort of it might be lings. This, this is, is this is one of the most humiliating things that can happen to you as a zerg is. Oh my god, yeah. he's gonna make a bunker. I feel like I'm watching the game from like 1998. I'm like, I don't even know what's going on yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. Well, the game is is pretty pretty done. <laughs> it's funny, because we were talking about it and saying, well, you know, this isn't supposed to win. And then we looked and we're like, oh, he actually didn't get the I, I wasn't sunk. paying complete yeah. attention. Like, normally what happens is you either, uh, in this case, he didn't have an overlorded position to see it coming, but you then you always make sure you have a ling there so that you can defend in time. And he simply didn't do that. Now, just making turrets, as these turrets finish, the game becomes uh, pretty close to unwinnable. Like you're sitting yeah. here on five drones. There's your mutas have to do so it's, much. It's and he five doesn't total, have right, for everything, right? Yeah, he's five yeah. drones and he has four mutas. Yeah, and the thing is, he can't even get yeah. the muta count to increase. He's, oh my god, I think he's gonna stuck. He might GG from here. I, I would not hold it against no. him, yeah, even the slightest it. bit. There it is, GG. Okay. Okay. Well, uh, okay. sometimes you kill a Zerg like that. It, it can happen. If they get a little bit greedy, they don't see the Marines coming. Drones can't fight against Marines. <laughs> no. So basically, yeah, if, if, if the sunken colony is not done when the Marines get there, uh, some one thing that a lot of people don't know, um, and you wouldn't know if you, if you played for a long time, but the sunken colony actually has less HP than the creep colony. Yeah. And so when you're kidding, you're doing damage to this creep colony, it actually finishes with 100 HP less. Yeah. So if you get it close to 100 HP as it's morphing in, it, you will one-shot it once it comes out. Yeah, in fact, at the pro level, what you'll see a lot of times is that you'll stop attacking at 100, and, and then they'll cancel the morph. Yeah, it's that's because right. Because there's no reason to finish that morph. It's silly. Yeah, it like yeah. costs money and it just dies. It what? might it might make the sound effect of the attack, but not actually the animation. <laughs> like it's just <laughs> so. Uh, okay, that's our game. We got one more match coming up next. It's gonna be mine versus best. You do not want to miss that. We will be right back.
on wow. OLED TV. Atlantis has always had a king. Now I need something more. A hero. Yeah! 이 엄마를 사랑한다. 발자국보다 열네 놈의 한 발자국이 더 낫지 않을 것 <웃음> 우리는 반드시 우리말 사전을 완성할 것입니다. 우리는 지금 우리의 말과 글을 지키고자 어렵게 이 자리에 모였습니다. 말은 민족의 정신이요. 글은 민족의 생명입니다. 우리는 반드시 우리말 사전을 완성할 것입니다. 我们在这场比赛中，我们在这场比赛中，我们在这场比赛中，我们在这场比赛中，我们在这场比赛中，我们在这场比赛中，我们在这场比赛中，我们在这场比赛中，我们在这场比赛中，我们在这场比赛中，
So that's that's where this gets very complicated. So the carriers are just so powerful here. It strikes to me from a Protoss angle, you probably just want to get an observer in there as fast as possible and figure out what the Terran's doing and then respond to that. You know, I, I think uh, opening Reaver here, in my opinion, is the best thing, and then obviously observer after that. But yeah, like Reaver into carrier. Yeah. Because uh, the thing is, you can go straight carrier, and that puts an even bigger timer on Terran. But if you don't have the Reaver, there's a few little you know, one-off strats that can work out. Like if you skip your robo, wraiths might be able to work. Marine medic might be able to work, right? There's right. there's a few things that can go wrong, even though your carriers are quicker. So I I don't know. I just I'm a real big fan on this map. If you just go reaver into carrier, you should be good. So we got the um, SCB scouting out to the bottom right. So he's going to be pretty late in getting to the Protoss's base. Yeah. Although I don't think the Protoss is going to be doing anything too crazy here. He's not even going Nexus first. Yeah, well, we saw what happened in, uh, oh, hey, who was it that got rushed? It this? was Snow. Oh, that's right, it was last, Snow. Last rush Snow, it was, which is, it, it was kind of such a sad thing, because Calm wrecked the group, and Sulky was also in the group. Like, yeah, that, was, yeah, yeah. that was a group that truly all four players should be in the next round, but, you know, Snow, he fought epically, but he was so hard countered, there was nothing to do. Yeah, and I think that, you know, all the other players are probably looking at that and saying, oh yeah, it's a little bit yeah. too obvious that this is what we do on this map, so we should probably be a little bit more honest. Well, we've seen a complete shift in the meta of this map. Yeah. The very first games, they went Nexus first on low ground. That started getting countered just by regular anti-Nexus first play and stuff. So they started Nexus firsting on the sides. Then everyone starts proxy barracksing all the time because everyone's Nexus firsting. Yeah. Okay, now we see Best. He's sitting there. He's just making some Dragoons. I think he'll make a Nexus. I don't think he's doing anything cheeky here. <laughs> but yeah, this yeah. is this is safer. Um, yeah, certainly less greedy. Uh, now, the probe has been alive long enough that the, uh, he's been able to confirm that there's only one SCV mining gas, which means that you're going to be expanding a little bit here. Yeah. If you see three, occasionally we'll see players throw SCVs back on the gas, too. That's another little mm -hmm. trick you can do. But um, if you see three on the gas, what you're, what you're actually seeing is a two-factory rush. Yes. And uh, the two-factory rush, the Protoss have to respond directly to. Mm -hmm. It's one of the reasons why if you don't get your probe in there in time, it, it really is an awkward game for the Protoss. You just don't know what they're doing. You feel yeah. insecure. And there's there's some ways you can mask it as well. Like you could go like 11 gas, and and then you can take your SUVs off for a little bit and stuff. But his probe actually yeah. got there first, so he's very sure it's not two factory. Right. Like this is you know, when your probe gets there first in a situation like this, you're really you're on and, top. You know, of to be honest, that's kind of like it's almost like a box you need to check off. Is yeah. he two facking me? Not even just like what's he doing, but is, is he not doing this build? Mm -hmm. Because if he's not doing that, there's the, there's 90% of the other things you need to be ready for. But if you're not ready for the two factory, you just will die. Indeed. Um, the Stargraph one is funny like that. There's just a handful of these specific timing attacks that can just throw the game off a of rhythm and usually knock the player out. Just like the the, the BBS against Zerg. Yeah. You just get in there. It's like whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, we have to address this immediately. And if you deal with it, you know, a lot of builds can live through these builds too. Just to throw that out there, if you micro well and you make the right decisions, you can still make the game go on for sure. But yeah, um, just very conservative openings on both sides here on a map that we've seen a lot of greed on so far. Okay, uh, looks like the SV was <laughs> driven away. That was the attempt to try to sneak in there and get an idea of what's going on. And what mine's doing now is he's basically kind of setting up a perimeter around his base where he should feel safe. Yeah. Um, now, not surprisingly, Bess is... is uh, hurtling towards getting Reavers. Yeah, it's... And this, uh, is, this is all standard now. This used to be, if we were casting this from 10 years ago, Artosis and I would go, oh, okay, Reaver. a Reaver, that's cool. Yeah, I wonder if he'll get damage with that. Yeah, let's see what he tries to do with that. And now it's like, this is probably the most common way to play the game, is to expand and then just rush into Reavers. Mm -hmm. It just seems like at the highest level of play, when you have shuttle speed, uh, and you're just, you're good at controlling the shuttle, the amount of damage you can do, yeah. and the flexibility, and, also, you know, I mean, the Terran has to really respond and defend against the Reaver. This isn't like some kind of strategy like you're doing this, but he's doing that. Yeah. If you don't immediately respond to Reaver with speed, you are going to lose all your SCVs and lose the game. Certainly you're right about that. Now, uh, we just heard a couple scans. So he knows it's Reaver. Yeah, see? And, oh, yeah. And uh, he has a starport. So this is actually, it's pretty all right for mine. Obviously, if you get the speed, you're not just going to die to rates, but... Uh, he, yeah, he cancels the add-on even to get the Wraith a little bit quicker. He, yeah. And he, you know, that it's a mobile turret, basically. As long as he is really on top of his micro and 
uh, spotting where this is coming in from, he should be fine. Like, it, a lot of times you'll see the Protoss poke, like, once against the Wraith and, and just be like, okay, I'm done until speed at least. So, um, we... Yeah, I mean, it, it, it's, it's a good thing to point out because even if you do have anti-air with the Marines or the turrets, I mean, the Reaver can kind of move around that, you yeah. know? Like, a, a Reaver is not scared of a Marine, that's for sure. <laughs> the Wraith, because you don't normally have a Dragoon inside the shuttle, the Wraith can completely and totally uh, drive the, the, the shuttle out. I actually, I think this time you might have a Dragoon. I didn't see Zealots, did you? Uh, actually, I guess you're right. I didn't see Zealots, but I, I feel like... The Dragoon is so much worse than the Zealot. You can do oh, so much more with the so two Zealots. Much worse. So much worse. Let's see, though. I guess we're going to see. don't drag mines well. Zealots really do. Okay. He yeah, needs to deserves. run. Yeah, there was a Dragoon. There you go. Oh, my God. Oh, boy. That is really bad for Best. Yeah, this is not going well for him. Right I just now. want to point out how bad that Dragoon was. The Dragoon was firing at the Wraith the entire time, and it killed the shuttle. Okay. Six, six, that's, six how bad, shots. <laughs> that's how bad that Dragoon is against yeah. uh, the Wraith. And this means that Best has now put himself into an awful position. Yeah, and I, I gotta clarify this. Goons are very good against Wraiths, but yes, one goon one takes dragoon, a little yeah. bit. <laughs> one Dragoon cannot kill a Wraith faster than the Wraith can kill the shuttle. Yeah, he got some shots off there before, but uh, yeah, that <laughs> was just so good for mine. To the, kill that first, he took no damage really. Like he no. lost a Wraith and what, like some Marines and a Vulture? He doesn't care about that at all. No, 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 this is, this is, this is fine. Yeah. And I, I think that this can transition really beautifully into a two base push for mine. Like a go into 2 1 and just nail your push. And because of losing that Reaver in that way, I wouldn't even be surprised if, if Best forgoes the carriers for a little bit. Yeah. It could happen. Now the Reaver is out. Okay, yeah. so science yeah, facilities yeah. coming here. So he is going for the two base, two one most likely. Yeah, yeah. Well, this is sizing up to be quite nice. Oh man, more probes are getting killed here. But this has got vultures in it too. Maybe a tank. If he brought two tanks, that'd be so oh, weird. Oh yeah, it'd be so much that gas. You boxer? On it. <laughs> yeah. You think you have that oh, my much god. Gas oh my god! Oh my god! Oh oh oh! Oh man! Oh, oh man! My god. Oh man! What is he doing? What is going on? Oh my god. I mean, that was Why like. Did... Oh my god. It, it, best, he just. Best that was shocked. a big mistake. Best is just. His head just went to the side. Yeah, I mean, that was like the worst it, thing that could have happened. When that mine went off, it looked like Steven Seagal broke his neck there. That was like. That was like. It was already bad that the shuttle and the Reaver were gone. It's like, okay, well, this is a very winnable position from Terran, but when he just lost all the workers, That too. many? Like, this is becoming child's play for how mine. How many workers was that? That looked like it could almost be like... A million like, billion. Like 10 or 11. It like might it have been. It might or have a million been. billion. I mean, it was just it like... It was a million billion. For the for this game and the, yes. the situation after losing that Reaver, that was a million billion. So he's getting a Stargate now. Oh, by the way, he's massed up a lot of shuttles. That was some cheeky shuttle play. Sometimes you can win a fight and you're not supposed to with Protoss, but I mean... Yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't know. So uh, he made one Stargate? Does uh, he have a Citadel? I, he does have a Citadel. Yeah, so he's going to try to take an Arbiter's. Yeah, which is fine because he absolutely, if you want Carriers, it's a free win for mine. You nail the 2-1. Oh, There's yeah, yeah. no counterplay. The Carriers the are too are slow. absolutely horrible against whatever they're fighting against. Yeah, so... Yeah, this looks really good for mine right now. I can't believe that I might be so blessed to have three Terrans in the round of yeah. eight. I'm I getting mean, wiggly dude, right Dude, I'm going to be honest, man. I really thought that Best was going to just win this pretty easily. I mean, he's normally so strong. But, yeah, I mean, this is – everything is going wrong right now for Best in this game. Yeah. Yeah. He's flying into the Wraith and then – well, that goon – I mean, he knew the vultures were dropping there. I don't know, I don't know why that, I think it was just like, he didn't realize that a goon was still trying to get up there. Oh no, oh no. And I mean, this is not the most impactful thing, but considering everything else that's happened so far oh, in this yeah. PVT. Yeah, everything that happens right now is, is lemon juice in the cut. Yeah, this is, this is bad. This is all very, very bad. My gosh. <laughs> if if Best can turn this game around, I am going to just worship him tasteless. Well, that's the, the thing is, I mean, it would really take mine being unable to get a closer here. Because basically, this has all been laid out for him. Mm. You know? I think that what what Best 
has to do here is get Psy Storm and Stasis. I think it is like this is his only chance is to buy a little bit of time. Recalls won't work. He's not gonna have a big enough army to do a recall. Um, hmm. But yeah, like he needs he needs spells basically, right? Because the mine's army will be stronger and will be bigger. Yeah. So maybe if you're like kind of just focusing on on you know Psy Storm some clump oh, units oh, oh, or something. Oh, 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 that okay. was close. I thought he was actually gonna lose that. That was yeah. coming out so fast. Our observer almost wasn't even ready for it. They lost everything else so far. So yeah. we're kind of getting used to seeing it like oh. this. Let's see what else he can get with this. Thing is, is that so the Reavers basically you want to keep planting him back here because these Reaver shots could one shot the majority of what the Terran has. However, he's doing well with them. Yeah, they're getting a good amount of kills on vultures, and that's something. It's yeah, not it's nothing, Tasis. No, it's, it's not something. nothing, as they say. Uh, it's not that other thing we had the other day where I was like, it's nothing, but it's something. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so what, what Protoss is trying to do is have enough gateways with stuff coming out, ideally, you know, an Arbiter or something out there as well, to try to hold this push off. And a lot of that's going to come down to these Reaver shots. But look, at mine is pretty Ooh, fast when he's moving out like yeah, this. Yeah, he's doing a great job of covering ground. Oh, he's not goodness. afraid yet. There's not any Zealot legs. The economy's been so stunted. Ooh, nice pullback. Oh, another good hit on this Observer. That means he won't have any, any detection and really kind of get the pacing of this push coming out now. If he throws a dropship at the third base right now during all this, it's like perfect play right there. Oh! Oh my god. Wow! Best is really making miracles happen with these well, Reavers I mean, so this, far. This is the play he needs. I don't know if it's going to be enough, Artosis, but this is definitely... The idea is there. Okay. Continuing to push forward here, throwing down a turret as well. That's a really great choice. A lot of times, Protoss says if they can just sandbag this push enough, mm -hmm. they can win at the very end. Right when the Terran's outside the mouth of the second base, they can just they just have enough. They come through. One Reaver down. Does he I, have was, a was One or two? Wait, was, oh, what? my God. Oh, He wait. shot oh. both the MPs. Yeah, he messed up. Oh, my God. And they, they, they both missed, by yeah. the way. Yeah. I can't believe that. If he loses, that's why. Yeah. <laughs> um, so... He's going to continue to come forward now. And, I mean, he's right outside the entrance. Now, these Dragoons are here to try to come in and intercept tanks on the side. I don't know if this is quite enough. Yeah, this does not look like something that's going to bust. Oh, okay. what? The, that was he really good his own aside from shuttle. The, yeah, aside from the shuttle getting frozen. If that shuttle could unload a bunch of units right now, that would help. Yeah. Okay, uh, Best is dead. This yeah, you can kind of like see the look on his face. Look how slouched he is in that chair. He's actually a lot taller than mine. <laughs> this is, uh, I mean, uh, okay, he's going to try to unload here. Oh, that didn't even do anything. Right? <laughs> yeah, I mean, that cell died so fast. And once you're sieged up in range of the Nexus, that puts a clock on the Protoss for when they can respond. Great D-Matrix there. This yeah. tank just not dying now. GG. Whoa, what an upset. Oh, this is see. the mine yeah. we've been waiting to see. Well, he... Did fantastically there. Uh, you can see Best obviously very upset. He lost so many probes. The Reaver was bad, Ooh. but that was recoverable. I'm, fe I'm feeling uh, the pain here for, yeah. for Best. I mean, that was... And I think Best is so clearly like a top eight player, you know? Oh, yeah, yeah. Every ASL, well, I expect him in the top look, eight. I mean, you can see he's very fidgety right now. He was shaking his head. Yeah. I mean, he's, oh, yeah. Not happy that about That happens this. sometimes. A mine, you know, a, a stray Dragoon drags a mine into your probes and something already went wrong in the game. It's almost impossible to recover from stuff like that at this level. Okay, we are gonna have an interview with mine translated by John from Translation Nation. And uh, we're gonna see how mine's feeling now that he's managed to beat best and come out. Uh, going on to the round of eight, wow. Mind in the round of eight, how about that? ASL 시즌 7 16강 시조 경기 모두 함께 하셨습니다. 오늘의 두 번째 진출자 역시 테라인데요. 박성균 선수와 함께 얘기를 나눠보겠습니다. 축하드립니다. 아직까지 조금 얼어 계신 것 같은데 오늘 경기 진짜 힘드셨죠? So you still seem in awe. So today's game was really tough, wasn't it? Uh, both games were very short actually, and so I'm not, I'm not worn out. But somehow I'm still, I'm, I am still feeling uh, very nervous. 
아무래도 이 정찰이 제대로 안 됐던 게 끝내 아쉬웠을 것 so 같은데. So you lost to um, sharp. 제가 uh, 준비한 거는 이제 정찰 센터 정찰을 하고. Was it because you didn't scout well? 그걸 이제 피해서 지웠더라고요. I just typed like dogs on my phone. It is venomous. Yes, good work, John. You do know. I'm from translation <laughs> nation. <laughs> <laughs> So, so I, I, I discovered his. Uh, uh, I, I, when I first discovered his uh, buildings, I was uh, I was a bit shocked because uh, it was not something expected at all. But, but second match, everything went as I expected, and uh, it was it was just perfect. But then, when the match ended, did you have any doubts about the score? Or did you have any doubts about the score? Or did you have any doubts about the score? Or did you have any doubts about the score? Or did you have any doubts about the score? Or did you have any doubts about the score? Did you expect all in or? 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 일단 뭐 제우 형 워낙에 잘해서 쉽지 않다고 생각했는데 제가 빌드 준비한 so 게잘 맞아 떨어졌어요. So how about your match with uh, about the match 뭐 with best? 셔틀이 바로 안 날라오고 옵저 못 뽑는 거였으면 I didn't really expect him. 좀 유리하게 셀못 했는데. Uh, expect to fight him in the last uh, in the last final match. 제가 그 잡고 너무 좋게 시작했던 것 같아요. But I had a really good start. I, I got his shuttle early on in the game. 머릿 속에 생각을 해 주셨군요. 네 yeah. 만약에 셔틀이면 레이스를 뽑을 생각을 하고 왔는데. So I was planning to go with a rate when he was going to go with a shuttle and it's just what I expected and it happened. 경력이 전진하는 거 정말 손이 잘 풀리는 것 같았는데 아무래도 그 마린 마인 대박 이후에 정말 좀 승리를 잡았다 이렇게 느끼셨나요? So your huge success with Spider Mind, that's probably you felt you won. Yes, as soon as I saw those Spider Mind explode, I actually started to feel nervous because I felt if I lose this now, then. No, I know this feeling. Yeah. Who's this? Oh my God! They'll never leave me alone. So to be honest, I wasn't very confident today. I, I expected myself to get knocked out, but still, I was hoping to do my best. And now, that's probably why I'm feeling very nervous now. I, I expected to lose, but I, I, I came through. Will you be this nervous in round of eight? I guess, I guess, uh, I guess I should be okay and I should prepare well. Now you'll be, there's a possibility you'll be facing two Zergs. Uh, it's either going to be effort or calm. I think calm is really on fire nowadays. So if I manage to take him down, uh, that'll be a huge feat for me. So I, I hope to. <laughs> I hope to face calm. Now, lastly, can you say any thanks to the fans? Thank you, all the fans, for the support. Like recently, I haven't been playing much game. Today felt very different from usual. I, I didn't have much motivation to win, and I, I thought I was going to lose, but I have the opportunity now, I'm going to round of eight, where there's a multiple rounds, so I, I think I'll need to practice hard. Okay, that's it. All right. Thank you, John. Now head back to translation station. <laughs> okay. We're going to put him on translation probation. <laughs> oh, I was trying to think of something else that rhymed with that. I couldn't. That was good. Um, so it's a good day to be a Terran player. Sharp and Mind are advancing. Yeah. Um, Three Terrans in the next round. What a plot twist in this ASL that Best did not get out first. I, I mean, that was. it's crazy, too, because he had such a good game against Sharp. But you got to think, too, when you play a game like that compared to like Modest, or sorry, Mind being like, I made seven Marines and walked into the Zerg's base and killed everything. Yeah. Best must have just been exhausted, you know? Yeah. 
Well, you see our group for Tuesday, two days from now. Mini Larva Saxery Tuesday. Rain. Tuesday, Tuesday, Tuesday. Yeah, this should be a pretty good group. Uh, Mini is a strong player, but Larva and Rain absolutely at the very top of their races. We'll see if Saxery can make any upsets or anything like that as well. Um, but yeah, it, this, it, you know the funny thing? I started getting this bad gut feeling when Bess lost because oh, yeah. I'm so used to casting StarCraft 2 with GSLs where if a player of that caliber goes out early, I'm like, he's not going to have enough points for BlizzCon. Oh, yeah. And then I was thankful for a moment Yeah. <laughs> because I'm like, I don't need to worry about that. Yeah. Like, he can just come I back next season. I guess it's going to be fine. But then I thought, oh, but we don't have a BlizzCon for Brood War. Oh, well. Yeah. So I don't know if I should be happy or sad, but like, Bess is out. There's mixed feelings well. here. Um, I, again, I'm very surprised with our results. Uh, that's It was a little bit sad to see Best go down like that, especially that mine hit. I mean, it's, uh, that is the most devastating thing that can happen, and pros spend their entire lives getting good at not letting that happen. Yeah. Um, and so to watch that Dragoon struggling for so long, these probes fortunately blocking it, all felt you were it. just sitting there looking at it going, Okay, please stop. Thank please God he get transferred some probes before it hit. Like, did yeah, you see that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's you're like looking at that. It's like, oh my God, he has such a chance to still save it. There's still a chance. Yeah. And eventually it went up there, and, and you know we could see the players uh, on our big screen back there. I turned around in my chair, and immediately you could just see. He went. Oh. He went. Oh, I mean, it was he was he physically <laughs> feeling. Uh, pain and revulsion from the moment that that mine connected with all the workers. Yeah, indeed, it, it, that was rough. And you know, what's your what's your comeback from there? I I mean, he had I mean, to go he hard. Tried. He tried. Well, it. And then I mean, he had lost the shuttle even before that, which is honestly, it's kind of unforgivable. I mean, it does happen. It, yeah. it, it, it is uh, the burden when you're going shuttle reaver. You just can't lose it because otherwise, you're just giving them gift wrapped for units. Um, if, and if so, they played that game again, like if this was a best of three on blockchain, I think he yeah. would have won two to one. <laughs> you know, I think probably. But mine did well. He he brought a good build. That's a it seems to be kind of the standard for maps like that right now. Sure. Where you you get into your drop ship and then you just kind of go for it on you two power bases. Power on two bases. You have this drop ship to try to dislodge their yeah. army positioning. And then, again, I mean the, the the combination of losing the shuttle and the reaver and then. Um, Losing the probes in that mine head. I mean, probes do get killed by uh, vultures and mines all the time, but you can't lose that many that early. Yeah. Excuse me. Yeah. <clears throat> and then the drop at the third base and everything. Like he just yeah. he did so much damage to the economy. But you know that's that's the way of things. And mind advances to that round of eight. So that's like very exciting that we have three Terrans. Now yeah. we just cross our fingers that it does not last for sharp. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because that is, nope. and then we have three out of four matches, we'll have a Terran in it, and that's what the people want. <laughs> that's what the people really Imagine want. Imagine if we have three Terrans in the round of four, how amazing that is, and we have, that means we could have a TVT in the round of four yeah. and a TVT finals. Please, one time. He wants that TVT finals. I want Dan it so loves bad. his TVT. Ooh, it's such a good matchup. Um, yeah, let's, <clears throat> I don't know. No Terrans on Tuesday, by the way. Two Protosses, two Zergs. It'll still be fun. It'll still be a good group. <laughs> You're so funny. Like he really likes casting Terran. Yeah. This is just kind of cool, selfish thing about our jobs is like we can actually watch the games from our respective races and yeah. be like, that's the build I want to leave. We grew up as, as players in this, whereas we were always commentators in StarCraft too, so I yeah. kind of appreciate the relationship the is a little bit different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Whereas in StarCraft, like, I don't root for any one race in StarCraft too. I'm like, no, yeah. I mean they're all fine. No, I, I appreciate all of them. Yeah, yeah. But as Protoss, like when I see a Protoss take down a scumbag Zerg, I'm like, that's right. Yeah. Exactly. That's right. Exactly. Angels are singing in heaven right now. <laughs> that's what I think. <laughs> I I think that's all the time we have. Thank you for joining us. We will see you on Tuesday. Bye. Yes. Bye. <laughs> bye bye. 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 Seriously, we're gonna leave. To think of what you do to stay by.